Testing one, two. Testing one, two. Oh, we finally have audio. Oh, just oh, YouTube. All right. You know, this is why I, I struggle with YouTube so much. Because I turn everything on just like I do on Locals and on Rumble or wherever else. And you know what? I was going to monetize this video. I, you know, I said, hey, maybe I'll try to monetize this. And now I'm just like, fuck it. Don't care. I turned it off. Now I can complain. Is my volume a little low? Some are saying. Hi, guys. <laughs> Let's try this again real quick. We'll just do the quick intro. Guys, welcome to Better Bachelor. My name is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. There we go. Um, guys, I live stream, all, and I'll get off this. I just got to rant for a second because I started a stream. They asked me which mic to use, which camera to use. I use my, uh, my Streamlink software, just like I do everywhere else in the world. And then YouTube's like, hey, here's an idea. We're just going to cut your stream when you click go. So then I restart it. Do it again, get a hundred and some of you guys in here, click go, and they're like, hey, yeah, we're just going to decide to change your mic settings, and then uh, there's no place in here I can edit like mic settings, camera settings while it's live. Now, maybe there's a page for that. I'm almost 50 years old. Make it simpler. <laughs> I mean, come on. Why make it any harder than you need to? And I can't even, like, now they got me in this weird box and I'm afraid, scared all to hell to click anything. So I'm not going to click anything else. Just, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, I'll give you a couple more. Uh, just, this is last minute stuff. Um, I just, I had a bunch, I recorded a video. Let me just say this. Uh, I recorded a video uh, and it took me like an hour and a half. And I'm like, if I do, if I put out an hour and a half video, I know a lot of you guys are like, nope. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I said, well, at least let me do it live stream. And then you guys can have some feedback and some input. And uh, a lot of this, a lot of this has to do with how it began with women, the, 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 oh, I'm such a, I'm such a victim mentality and, and let's virtue signal and how all of this has now weaved its way into politics into society, into the web, into TikTok and Twitter and dating, and it's all just, all just going to hell. Is my volume okay, first of all? Because if a lot of you say yes and a couple of you say no, that's going to mean it's the other people having problems. Let me just make sure that's clear. Because I want to make sure I try to... All right, so everybody's saying yes, so I'm, if I'm a little low sounding to you, it might be on your end. Okay, good deal. Uh, so it's your problem, not mine. Classic move. Oh, yeah. All right, and did you guys get the uh, soundboard in there? I just got to make sure because I don't... Okay, got a lot of yeses. Okay. Um, all right, let's jump right into this. Uh, people can trickle in as they come in. Like I said, this is all uh, 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 last-minute stuff. If you guys... A couple things. If you want to send me a message, okay, you got to be a subscriber for at least five minutes that keeps the spam bots from coming in and just hammering stuff, number one. Number two, there's a 10-second delay on a comment. So just leave a comment, and then, you know, someone will reply to you, and then you can wait 10 seconds, just count 10 seconds, reply back. Again, that keeps the hammering from the spammers. And then if any of you guys are members over on Locals and, like, you're a regular over there and I happen to recognize your name or what, something, I'll make you a moderator, uh, and that's to kick out any bots. I don't want anybody that's going to kick out anybody that calls me names or makes fun of what I'm saying. That all's fine. I'm very much a, a free speech person. So if anybody happens to hop in here and can uh, uh, 
like say something where I can see that you're you're part of my locals gang over there. And the reason why I, I trust the locals gang is because there's it's a very small knit group, and I, I learn who many of them are. All right, let's uh, let's jump into this here a little bit. So um, TikTok, as you guys know, is is a gift from the uh, the the CCP and. Um, I believe it got started, and I was reading a couple stories on this about people will post something, and even if they're not a famous person, and I'm looking over here to try to keep up with chat just to see if I can get a moderator in here. Um, anyway, no, mods will not kick anybody that makes them mad. Everybody's allowed to make fun of, of moderators and myself because I, I, I'm all down for that. I like a good steamy debate with lots of hot insults. Like, that's all good to me. Um so anyway, a, a lot of people found that when you joined up on TikTok, even if nobody followed you or knew you, you'd post a video and you'd get a lot of artificial likes and people want to be famous. So they said, hey, I'm going to jump in here and I get to be famous. And so they jumped in. Oh, uh, sorry. Any of you guys that sent a, um, a, a super chat on the other one, like one of you sent like a $20 one, I think. I lost it. It like disappeared. I don't even know. Like, I hope I get the money for it. I hope it doesn't come out of your account or whatever but I can't read it. It, it poofed. So I'm sorry. Uh, I'm really, really sorry. Uh, if you want to make a comment again and just put at better space bachelor, then it'll pop up and I can just say what you said before and say, Hey, I paid the 20. This is me. Cause I always want to make sure to, to take care of you. Um, so they got a lot of fake likes. They got a lot of, of fake attention. And then what happens with that is they say, Oh, I feel validated. People like me here. I'm important. What I've got to say is important. And so they stay on TikTok, where maybe on Facebook, they have 14 followers. On Facebook, they might, or on TikTok, they might have thousands. And if you say something that is politically correct and normal, I know Tim Pool's been removed. I know Steven Crowder was removed at one point because they're conservatives. Um, I think, I'm not sure if the Daily Wire or Ben Shapiro were over there, but I think they were at one point. And they got the punt. And so why is it only one way? Well, it's because they, I think, I really think the CCP and social media and a lot of these companies want to drive people down into de degeneracy where they can't think for themselves. They can't make it on their own. They, they need the government to take care of them. And it's going to kind of push it towards this socialist thing. How do I know this? Well, this is the kind of the, kind of the stuff that you're going to see on TikTok. And I only have this one TikTok video. But it perfectly encapsulates, maybe that's not quite sounding, anyway, perfectly grabs, I haven't had enough of my coffee yet. It perfectly grabs what's going on with our youth today. Here you have a young person that's, that's teaching the pronouns. And the pronouns they've decided to use today are frog and frogs. Now, I believe it was, uh, I believe it was, let me see if I can pull this off the top of my head, Smokey and the Bandit, maybe? Smokey and the Bandit movie from like the very early 80s, late 70s that had uh, Burt Reynolds. And I forget the actress that was in it, but anyway, her nickname was Frog or something like that. I can understand it as a nickname, but I want you to listen to this. Because again, this has 7,800 likes. How many of them are real? We don't know. It has 5,400 shares. How many are real? We don't know. But again, the more people do this and they feel like they're making an impact and they're becoming popular and they're being loved and pay attention to me, they're going to keep going on with it. And, and we're going to get into the study. I've got some studies I'm going to talk about. There's actually science behind this. And this is going to explain everything that's going on in society because I have it right here. Five psychological experiments that explain the modern world. And we're going to get into that. But I, I, I want you guys to see kind of the thing that's happening and why people are doing this, number one. And number two, why is it becoming popular? And, and it's teaching young people to continue to do it and to get on board. Now, there's no promise this, that this leads you to happiness or good relationships or paying the bills or anything else. It just tells you, hey, you're going to be popular. Social credit, there you go. It's almost like, um, hey, if, you, if you're popular and people love you and you spread the message right, you almost, it's like these little likes and everything over here is almost like you could say a social credit score. Hmm, how about that? 
All right, so let me play the video here. I'll, I'll start it a little lower so I don't blow your ears out. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use frog frog's pronouns in sentences, so let's go! Frog frog's pronouns? That sounds so cool! Ding ding ding! And that's because it is cool! Because that means that the person that's using these neo pronouns is staying super curious about frog self and wants to know more about frog self. And I, as a non neo pronoun user, respect the hell out of that because that takes so much courage. I just wanted to mention that. You don't need my approval. You notice she sounds like she's talking to children? Hmm. I wonder why that is. But anyway, Frog is such a great person. Frog's smile is so contagious. In fact, I saw Frog make a whole audience smile. I think Frog should be very proud of Frog Cell. Oh my goodness, we made it through! And if you need more help on how to use neo pronouns and sentences, go here! Today. This is probably, a, honestly, it's probably a third grade teacher at this point. This is probably a third grade teacher, honestly. So, so what's happening? is these people are coming out and they're, 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 because if you talked like this to an adult, an adult would be like, what is wrong with you? And I'm not even saying, I'm not even going with what she's saying. I'm just the whole point of the voice inflection and the, can you imagine me getting on here and be like, hey guys, today we're, you'd be like, what in the hell am I watching? But that's what she's doing. And granted, this person, because you never know. Apparently, frog, this frog, emotional damage. This frog, and remember, we were told, well, this is about finding your identity, and look, you guys, they're just taking it right off the cliff. This was supposed to be about society and finding being healthy and and finding your true self. If, if everybody's just, here's what's really weird, right? If we all use our own pronouns and we all use our own descriptors of who we are, you know what that sounds a lot like? Let's see if you guys can guess it. Wait for it. If we all have individual pronouns, it almost would act like a name. So maybe if we want to be all unique individuals, maybe something that would work instead of changing all the pronouns and the English language and everything else would be maybe using people's names. So now you can just be Frog. That's your name. Frog went to the store. Have you seen Frog's book? Frog said the funniest thing the other day. Hey, same thing. Same thing. And when... when when you encounter somebody like this, if you, if you don't know which way to go, I got a simple one for you. Don't worry. Don't worry about using the pronouns and all that. Just call them by their name. Problem solved. Isn't that amazing that in actuality, since probably the birth of time and language, we've had the ability to appreciate somebody for their uniqueness as an individual and, and really finding them special by calling them their own sound. We call this a name. Joker. Wow, what a, what a fascinating con concept. But instead, see, they have to keep everything moving and crazy and keep everybody confused and everything where they're just like, I don't know what the hell's going on. What is going on right now? This is being aimed at young people for a reason, and we're going to get there. Uh, from the edge, how TikTok is ruining an entire generation's mental health. Um, guys, I will get to the, uh, let me see if there's a way I can, is there a way I can find super chats? Let me see here. Hold on. Uh, I hope so. Um, oh my gosh, because if they go by and I miss them, I'm going to feel horrible. Uh, I hate live streaming on YouTube. Let me keep, let me just read them so I don't get too far gone because I want to make sure all you guys that are kind enough to send me a little love get appreciated and you get your question or whatever. Uh, me, Mick, sent $2. Thank you. TikTok, the herp, the gift that keeps on giving. LOL. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, and me, me, Mick, or me, Mike, I think. Uh, Cap, you might have been planning a Labor Day live cast. It'd be awesome. To see you guys appreciate modern day society with all the winning going on in current day uh, and age, Gen X honorary B, oh honorary Boomer unite. 
Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll try to keep up with these as they go. I hate interrupting the content, guys, but I, I, I'm so stupid at this. I just, the interface is so, it's great if you have a production staff over here, but if you're trying to do this yourself, until I practice, and to practice, I got to do it and screw it up a billion times, and I don't want to do that. Uh, Don DeMeo says, can't afford locals anymore, mate. Keep safe, Joker, two pounds. Thank you. I, I understand. I understand. It's five bucks, five dollars U.S. Uh, for locals. And I do all my stuff over there, and I live stream over there, and I do everything over there. So that's that's really where I do everything. And then now I'm just chopping it up and importing it to YouTube. Uh, but I understand, man. I, I think things are going to get tough for all of us, and myself included. Uh, Natty says, uh, greetings from Finland. Thank you for the 10 euro. Not sure if you remember me from your last YouTube live stream. I want to ask you, do you like Rammstein? Or Rammstein, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Uh, please give... Keep it up. Don't worry about being repetitive. We need repetition. Um, I do. I'm not a huge, huge fan. I've listened to several of their albums. I think I owned two albums when I was younger. Um, don't much mi listen to much music anymore. I just don't have time. I don't have time to read. I don't, I, mostly I listen to audio books. Uh, and, and I have, I try to listen to, um, on my phone, I have a thing that'll play, like read web pages to audio. So when I'm working out, I can have the web read to me. So I can hear good stories like this. Over the past decade, and again, TikTok's ruining an entire generation of mental health. Uh, over the past decade, social media has become a core part of our lives. Gen Z has grown up surrounded by social media, never truly experiencing life without it. In 2016, the viral app TikTok was launched. From that point, it rapidly gained popularity. If you don't know, it's uh, TikTok's continuous loop of short, entertaining videos. Entertaining. Ranging from choreographed dances, dances to rehearsed comedy skits, the content on this platform has an extremely wide range, which is partly why it's so addicting. Before we dive into the negative effects of TikTok on mental health, it's necessary to touch on the benefits of this platform. Nope. I'm just going to stop you right there. There's no benefits of that platform. Not above anything else like YouTube and, and everything else. Sorry. They, uh, they say, we at the edge believe the negative aspects outweigh the positives. Gen Z is formed in an obsession with self-depreciating humor. Um, I think it's beyond that, uh, but they say it's taking a toll on everyone's mental health. We love watching others make fun of themselves because it ultimately makes us feel better. The TikTok algorithm makes self-depreciating videos go viral, causing our FYPs, not sure what that is, to be, uh, maybe it's your feed, whatever, to be filled with negativity. It's common to, to justify self-depreciating humor by calling it a coping mechanism, but ultimately making fun of our own insecurities or personalities only furthers our self-hatred. Now, I want to say, I don't think they get into this because I, I don't read a lot of the articles all the way through before I present them to you because I like, a, like, I like to be... Um, I like to be... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, uh, I like to respond to it at the same time you guys do. They say insecurity has additionally led to criticism of our own physical appearances. During the lockdown, the, the stargazing trend became popular. In these videos, users would lay down horizontally and look upstream while the camera filled in their side. I guess, okay, are you going to, really? Okay, great, great article. You don't, don't really say anything. Well, let me, let me get to my point here. So the whole thing is here that basically you've got young people validating themselves. And yes, there are some that do the Tide Pod Challenge and all these other things that, and, and come to find out like one kid inhaled some of the chemicals after it burst. And I think he either damaged his lungs or died. I'm not sure which. You've got people doing stupid, dangerous things for attention out there. And when you do something like that, the problem is, the problem is, that other people are going to follow it. And again, because they're getting the likes and all this validation, they're, they're doing it for free, but they're getting paid in likes and validation. Um, Dungus fan, fun, Dungus fun. Dungus, Dung, Dungus. Uh, you like to have a genuine response when reading. Yeah, I think so. I try to be, but I, I want to be kind of off the cuff. But here's what it really boils down to. And, and this, I think, is the core, guys, this right here is the core of everything that is going on in society today. Australia, New Zealand, the UK, here in the United States, Canada, maybe maybe down in Latin America, in several places. 
Self-victimhood is a personality type researchers find. And it's akin to narcissism, only it's a little bit different. And what this is, these are, this is what happens when you have the snowflake generation, when you have the self-entitled people, the people that are told they're special from the time they're two and everybody should love you and you're unique and special. And let, the moms are snow plowing all the problems out of the way. This is exactly what you get. Uh, someone like Taylor Lorenz from the Washington Post is a perfect example she doxes people, she insults people, she harasses people. And then when it gets done to her, she goes, oh, I'm such a victim. I can't believe people would do this to other people. It's the same reason why Libs of TikTok, which is a great, a great account on TikTok, all she posts are, hey, look what these people are doing. And she literally takes the videos like this. I actually found this. I've actually found this crazy person from Libs of TikTok. All she does is saying, this is, this is the message to kids today. That's it, this video. And they come after her because she's sharing this stuff. And really all she's doing is holding up a mirror and saying, this is what you're doing. And everybody screams, oh, you're such a horrible person. Does that sound familiar, guys? Men are saying, we don't want women that are like this. We don't want to date women that are like this. We don't want to date women with high body counts. We don't want to date women that are, are, are selfish or queens or or just want us for our money. We don't want women that are use them and, and, and lose them. And what are we doing when we say that? We're just holding up a mirror and saying, look, look, do you see what you look like? Bragging about 150 people that you slept with. Do you see what you look like when you say, I deserve everything in the world? And, and all I am is a mirror of your ridiculousness. And do they attack the person that's going crazy? No, they attack the person that's not okay with it. They attack the person that says, hey, I have some questions here. Something's not going so well. And that's the person that they attack. Well, that's exactly what they're doing right now. And it's become a personality. Uh, now, when, you, when I read this, listen in your head and tell me if this is not just about every 20-something and even some of the 30-somethings that you've met recently. People who suffer from a tendency for interpersonal victimhood presents themselves as weak, hurt, and vengeful. Many social commentators have argued that in an emerging victimhood culture incentivizes people to see themselves as weak, traumatized, and aggrieved. In higher education, this has been associated with increased demands for specific accommodations like trigger, trigger warnings, which don't work, and the policing of microaggressions, which is ill-conceived. Both those things, by the way, come from colleges that charge you massive amounts of, of money to attend. And what, what blows me away about that the most, about these massive colleges that are charging twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars a semester, hundred thousand a year, whatever. This is where where the liberals, the the high minded people are supposed to go and uh, discuss the the challenging or difficult or interesting or uh, uh, high IQ topics of the day. And what do they do? They go there, they don't learn anything except how to virtue signal and, and say everybody's against them and woe is me and the world's unfair. In the meantime, while they, you know, drive a BMW that mommy and daddy gave them to, to school and, and go get supposedly a good education. But in the meantime, the guy that's digging the ditch, the, the guy that's working the oil rig, the guy that's maybe a delivery truck driver or whatever, those guys, even though that they have a much rougher life and haven't been given the silver spoon, so to speak, these people are calling them the problem. Why? Because they all get the claps and the pats on the backs and everything else. They say, but what if this is not merely a trend, but an entire personality type? A new paper in the scientific journal Personality and Individual Differences posits a tendency for interpersonal victimhood, or TIV. Now remember this TIV, because it comes up many more times in this article as far down as I've read, but it's a tendency for interpersonal victimhood. In other words, they tend, when they're interacting with other people, to call themselves the victim. Does that sound like anybody today? I'm sorry, does that sound like everybody today? An archetype defined by several truly toxic traits, a pathological need for recognition. 
Now, let's work through these guys because, man, this is it right here. A pathological need for recognition. The dating apps. All, they are is, all those girls are out there swiping away. They only take the best. But pay attention to me. I deserve, right? The going viral on TikTok. The, the doing all the crazy stuff. Going on OF. Pay attention to me. Give me money to look at me. All that stuff and, and going on social media and going crazier and the crazier they go, guess what happens? The crazier they go, the more likes, the more comments. They, why? Because the, all, all of these people are like this. It's like having 10 people in the room and everybody just passes a like to everybody else and all of a sudden you're one person in a room of 10 people and guess what? Collectively, you have like 100 likes because everybody's liked everybody else's stuff. It makes them feel all good. So, so this toxic trait as a pathological need for recognition, a difficulty empathizing with others. The women, the women that will call you short, bald, unattractive, loser, whatever. If you guys, you know, I just did a video. I think it was the very last video I did where I'm reading the tick, the messages, the dating messages back and forth. What happens? A woman will, will, a guy will say, hey, you know what? I had a nice date with you. Thanks. I wasn't really into it. It's not going to work out for me. And the woman lashes back. Or the guy says, hey, you know, I just, I wasn't really that attracted to you. It didn't work for me. And what do they do? They lash back. Even though the same woman is the one that says he, men are short and men are this and men are this and men are this and men are this. They say men are all these negative things. But the minute a man says, well, but you're not perfect. Oh, how dare you? See, you can't, they can't empathize. I almost forgot my how dare you button. I haven't used my board in so long. How dare you? How dare you? I can make fun of your height or this or that about you. And I use height a lot because I'm short. But, but the minute you call her out on her belly fat or something like that, it's, it's, it's World War III. Uh, feelings of moral superiority. Oh my gosh, guys. How many women think they're morally or in some way superior to you? How many think they're superior to you? I, I think we can say like most women right now. Feelings of moral superiority, that's most women in the dating market today. And they say, and importantly, a thirst for vengeance. This is the one I'm warning you guys on all the time. Even if you're doing the hookup thing, even if you're, you know, doing your thing, you got to be careful because these women will come in here. They'll come in and yeah, maybe you got to hook up with them. Maybe you, you got on Tinder, but they're so thirsty to get even with you for not making them happy that you're going to get yourself in a lot of trouble really quick. I mean that seriously, because these are the guys that are, are girls that are going to say, he did this, he did this, he did this, making up stories about you just for vengeance. And, and I've got a, there's a segment in here that relates to this that I'm going to read. Uh, Be tall and young and something. You know, I thought there was a way I could display these on I thought there was a way I could put these on my screen, but again, I don't know how. I'm, I'm so stupid. Uh, $10, thank you very much, with a sticker. And uh, uh, Papa Flip and Smurf, <laughs> I like that one. 10 bucks, thanks. Uh, hey, hey, Joker, first time catching you live. It's great to hear a reasonable guy, one who doesn't sound bitter. I hope, for, I hope more people learn from, let me try that again, English. Damn it. English, motherfucker, do you speak it? Uh, I hope more people learn from, uh, I'd said it again. Damn. I hope more people learn what growing up is like from you. I need more coffee. Jeez. Um, uh, be tall, young, and attractive. Two bucks. Hey. Hey there. <laughs> All right. Um, so, guys, you see this, right? This, uh, this, this personality, the TIV, Tendency for interpersonal victimhood. That means if they just interact with somebody, they need to be the victim. And, and a, a pathological need for recognition, that's virtue signaling. That's women on social media. That's women, women on the dating, app, dating apps. Uh, 
a difficulty empathizing with others? How many women say, I don't care what you think, or, or yeah, I called you short and ugly, but how dare you call me fat? Feelings of moral superiority. Women think they're better than all of us men. We know this. And importantly, a thirst for vengeance. Chaz the Fool, five bucks. Love your content, Joker. Keep it up. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, sorry, I got to read these as I come in because I'm a dumbass and doesn't know how to recall them at the end because I never stream over here. Uh, Voodoo, 2130, uh, 10 bucks. Thank you. I think that's Aussie for the A. Uh, good day, Joker. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I hope you're well. May I ask which software you're using from your videos? Regards from Australia. Um, I use, uh, what is it, OBS software to do this. So this stuff is, is OBS. That's OBS software that goes through my stream deck. And then for software for the audio, I don't use anything. It, it, that goes in through my, my, my microphone and I have a Rode uh, pro uh, podcaster over here that I, I feed it through. Uh, Chaz the Fool, welcome back. To, or welcome to Joker. Thanks, man. Welcome to you. And uh, Zulnex, uh, I, CA Canadian, five bucks, I think. Uh, hey, Joker, love your videos. Any update regarding the bus? Um, I got to get the bus fixed, uh, and it's still out, and I, I'm having a hard time finding a mechanic that'll work on it. Like, just mechanic. No one wants to work right now. I can't get a mechanic. Uh, I, I'm having a hard time getting my land surveyed. Like, just, it's hard getting anybody to work right now. They'll be wanting a job pretty soon when they all run out of money. Okay, so, uh, anyway, um, they say... Uh, the findings suggest that victimhood is a stable and meaningful personality tendency, write the study's authors, a quartet of scholars associated with Tel Aviv University. Uh, the research oh, at the University of Pennsylvania. They say research uh, solicited several hundred participants for a series of psychological experiments that tested their assumptions. As such, the results should be taken with a grain of salt Social psychology research suffers from notoriously thorny replication issues, since these kind of experiments are not always great substitutes for the sorts of things being studied. Anyway, they say in, uh, in one of this paper's experiments, for instance, a computer split a pot of money between itself and a human participant. This person was led to believe the computer was also a human participant. Sometimes the pot was split evenly, and the human participant was given a chance to take vengeance by reducing the computer's pot without enriching its own. Researchers discovered that participants classified as having higher TIV scores were strongly associated with behavioral revenge in this scenario. So, so here's, the, here's the thing, right? So you've got these people that a computer splits a pot randomly with participants. They receive either the same or less money. And if they have this high personality trait score, they will take revenge on the computer. And the way they do it is by taking money away from... Now, again, it's, it's, they think it's a person. So in other words, this test subject walks in and they think, okay, we're going to split 20 bucks. They get seven, the other person gets 13. And without gaining any money, without getting any additional money, they're given the chance to take money away from the other person. And so they say, yeah, I want to do it. Even though it doesn't better me, it punishes the other person. This is a pretty dangerous mindset, actually. These are the same people that say, hey, you know what? Um, I slept with this guy. At the time, we agreed to just be friends. But I feel like I was given the short, uh, short end of the stick. I need to punish him, even though I have nothing to gain. And remember, a lot of times when false accusations and things come out against men... The story is like, why would they do that? They have nothing to gain from this. They don't have to have anything to gain as long as they feel like they can punish you. That's enough for them. Uh, John Ghost uh, sent five bucks and a sticker. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, shark, den shark dentures. Joker, this, uh, this sort of self-negativity is a very bad behavior. Also, Joker, I'm so stupid. Irony. <laughs> <laughs> I have moments of stupidity. I don't live my life as a stupid person. I think that's the difference. <laughs> uh, but I do I do make a fool of myself. I have no no doubts about that. A bony 10 pound. Hey, Joker, thanks for doing this live stream. It, it pained me to see people from my generation being brainwashed by scrolling through TikTok and other social media platforms. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I think it's, but it's not only just TikTok. I think it's all social media. But what it is, is it's this personality type that I'm talking about right now. It's the, I'm a victim, pay attention to me. 
uh, I'm, I'm oppressed, says the, the guy that goes to college uh, for a degree that costs $200,000, you know, and, and again, drives the, the Mercedes Benz or the BMW to school that mommy and daddy gave him. Remember, a lot of the people that are on board with BLM doing the marches, burning things down, the areas that they burnt down, and I, I'm not trying to get political here, but we got to analyze this. A lot of the people that were burning stuff down, the areas they were in were minority owned businesses right? But a lot of the people that are marching saying, ah, oh, burn it all down. These are kids that are going off to college, making a ton of money and driving fancy cars. Why would they go in and hurt people that are not as well off? It's this mentality. It's the, I'm going to make you suffer, even if it doesn't do anything for me. And remember, this is important when it comes to dating, guys. This is important to remember this when it comes to dating, when it comes to wives getting married all this stuff, you accidentally get with a woman like this, she'll, she'll punish you and take extra money just to spite you. Even if she'll, she'll make an accusation or say, you did, you did something wrong, even if she has nothing to gain out of it, they say right here, strongly associated with behavioral revenge. The revenge, they, the revenge is their payment getting revenge on you and hurting you. It's like crabs in a bucket or, or better yet, pushing somebody down to raise yourself up. This is the type of person that will hold you underwater to make sure their chin stays above water so they can breathe. And they have no, they don't, they don't feel bad about it. They don't hurt. They don't regret. They don't do anything like that. And they will watch you drown. And some of them, even if they don't need you to support themselves to keep their chin over water, some of them will hold you under to drown just to see you drowned. That's what this study has found. They say TIV was also associated with an increased experience of negative emotions and entitlement to immoral behavior. Keying your car, right? Making false accusations having you arrested. They have increased ne experience of negative emotions and entitlement to immoral behavior. So they feel it is their right to do bad things to other people. Because again, they're the snowflake generation. They can do no wrong. The world is your oyster. You're a wonderful person. Everything is great. And so when they hurt you, they see no problems with it. Now, remember, these are the same type of people when you go back in history, when you say, how could people, how could one group of people ostracize, uh, hurt businesses, end people's lives just because they disagreed with them? This is it right here. And don't, and now there's a hundred times more uh, people like this than there was back in the good old days. So don't think that they will have any problems putting your neck on a chopping block if it, if it makes them feel better, if it means they get their way, if it means they can just get revenge on you. And again, and again, this falls into politics today. This falls into society today. This falls into work today. This falls into being on social media and saying the wrong thing today. It doesn't have to make sense to them. They don't care. They just want to hurt you. They want to shut you up. Uh, this, the study distinguishes TIV from narcissism. Narcissistic individuals also experience moral superiority and veg, vengeful desires, but these feelings tend to spring from belief that their authority, their authority, capability, or grandiosity is being undermined. TIV, on the other hand, is associated with low self-esteem. And while narcissists do not want to be, do not want to be victimized, high TIV individuals lash out when their victimhood is questioned. So when somebody says, this person used the wrong pronoun on me, I am a victim. And then somebody says, well, yeah, but you did the same thing to somebody else or, or you misdid something, something. Re, how dare you? How dare you? How dare you call me out on my double standards? This is literally built into their personalities. And so narcissists don't want to be victimized, but a high TIV individual lash out when you question them on it. Why? Because they've gotten so much attention and praise and, oh, you're wonderful and strong and brave for being fat. Oh, you're morbidly obese. Oh, 
you go with your struggles, girl. You're so strong and beautiful. And when somebody says, hey, man, um, you're not healthy. You're probably going to die. And I'd like, I'd like everybody to be healthy. I care about you as a person. I hope, I hope you, uh, you know, fix yourself and, and uh, go get help and lose some weight and hit the gym. You've just questioned their victimhood status. And so they lash out at you. And this is, I'll be honest, this TIV I've never heard of before. But to me, it sounds like this is damn near everybody today that's, that doesn't have their head in the game. We have our heads in the game. There's a lot of people out there that do have their heads in their game. But this is a very small subset. And what these people are doing are the same ones that will call a company and say, hey, you, you, uh, your brand, I saw your brand being advertised on this show I don't like. How dare you support these other people? because they said these awful things about me, even if they didn't. And companies are quick to say, oh, we're so sorry, we'll cancel this contract and everything else. And what, is, what does the victim get out of it? They get their revenge. Right here, behavioral revenge. They get their revenge. Guys, why you treated her nicely, but you decided she wasn't the right girl for you. So you decided, hey, I, I don't think we're going to be, we should be in a long-term relationship, but it was nice meeting you. I'm glad we met you. Why does she say you did all these things when you didn't? Entitlement to immoral behavior uh, and revenge, and they lash out. It's, I mean, you guys got to be careful, man. I am telling you right now. Um, the self-preservation of high-tiv individuals is that of a weak victim. Oh, if you're just joining us, guys, we're getting on to the five ex uh, psychological experiments that explain the modern world. I got some videos that I'm going to be talking about here of the modern uh, experiments. Uh, so we're, we're but, but I, I want to set the groundwork here so you guys can, as you go through the next series of experiments, why, why this all clicks for you. Because so many people, including myself, I say it all the time, like I just don't understand people today. People have gone crazy. But the truth is I do understand them. I just can't believe how many of them have gone kind of crazy. Uh, they say uh, self-preservation of high-tiv individuals is that of a weak victim who's been hurt and is therefore in need of protection. Threats to high-tiv individuals are related to anything that can undermine their self-image of moral superiority or elicit doubts from the environment as to whether the offense occurred, the intensity of the offense, or their exclusivity as victims. So what you have here is they're saying that if anybody elicits doubts that it happened, whether it even happened, how bad it really was, or if, 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 if they were specifically being targeted, if you question any of that, they will lash out at you and at that point in time, portray themselves as a weak person. Oh, I'm such a, look at what, look what these bullies are doing to me. Aren't they awful? And the minute there are no bullies, what do they do? They lash out at everybody. They make accusations. They dox. They do all these horrible things to people. And then as soon as they get something back, they say, oh, no, no, look at what these horrible people are doing. And if, you, and if you don't believe it, just look at, again, this Libs of TikTok account that posts stuff like this. All she's doing is saying, hey, look at this craziness. This is, look, look what these people are talking about. And everybody says, oh, you're victim. I, how dare you call us out on this? How dare you talk about it? How dare you? But all she's, all she's doing is saying, look, I'm just pointing out what you're doing. But they have to be victims. Um, Adrian C., uh, thank you for the 25 ron, rons, whatever that is. Uh, ever since these nonsense came out, I kept saying these people are crazy. TIV answered so many questions. Why un ugly, tarted people behave badly? Yeah. The same person that's unattractive and overweight will look at a guy that's in much better shape and more attractive than she is, and she'll say, you're such an ugly person. You're a horrible person. And that guy goes, you're worse off than I am. And you go, oh, how dare you? Uh, Low Rung Maslow sent 20 bucks. Thank you, sir. Uh, it's not all bad, Joker. Depends on one's circles. Uh, intellect and emotional clarity in my esteem. I'm aged, thus aware. The lad, 22, is in the game. As a senior EE student, I caution, but he seems contentious. Uh, young guys out, man, is a minefield. And I, I understand why young men are like, dude, I want to date. I want to get laid. I want to hook up. I want to have fun. I want to find a girlfriend. I get it. I'm not going to shame you for it. Just understand the minefield in which you're walking. And this is why so many times I say, guys, it's not about 
making her feel safe so she doesn't think you're going to be physical or aggressive with her. It's about you making sure she's not somebody like this so that when you try to, whether you are sleep with them or not, whether you date them or not, when, when you try to walk away from the situation and you say, you know what, this isn't really working out for me, they don't decide I'm just going to, I'm going to be the victim and say he did a bunch of things that he didn't do. And I'm going to make accusations against him because I want him to suffer. I want to make him hurt. Because that's the personality type that, that somebody like this does. And that's a lot, of, a lot of people today, men and women included. But, but I know a much smaller percentage of you, of you guys out there are dating other guys versus ladies. Uh, Alpha Dog Elite uh, 3 sent nine ninety nine. Thank you for the Maraca Shakers. And uh, uh, Dung, Dung is Fun, 5 bucks. Uh, anger and fear is the best way to control people. I can see that now. Freedom of thought and discussion is the cure. It is, and that's why, they, that's why they have this mentality. They don't want you to have the freedom to try to talk to them. There's literally a meme based on this. How many times do we talk about when feminists or you know anybody like this goes re- Re, what is the re signifying? The re is signifying them covering their ears and going la 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 re. I can't hear you. Oh, eh, ah. that's what they're doing. They're taking all rational thought and discussion, and they're taking anything that you want to say to to bring your point across or to defend yourself or have a conversation. They're just taking it. They're just going nope, not happening, because of this personality type. Uh, Cliff, 3188499, thank you. Uh, we shut down the asylums only because the money go, uh, going into them wasn't producing results. Now the crazies are on social media making those companies bank. Uh, they're, on the, they're on the street as homeless. They're, in, they're using illicit substances. They're you know, getting married to people and becoming a, a wife, driving people crazy. Um, so anyway, uh, you guys get that. And then... Uh, they know the researchers do not equate experiencing trauma and victimization with possessing the victimhood mindset. They point out that a victimhood mindset can develop without experiencing severe trauma or victimization. So what they're saying here is you don't even have to have had something actually bad happen to you for them to act like something has happened to them. It is the newest virtue signal. It's just a virtue signal because you know what? To get praise and to get attention, to go to the gym, to work out, to gain muscle, to become healthy and a strong muscular, right? Or to become slim or petite or fit or whatever. That takes work. It takes a lot of work, years sometimes in a gym and eating well to get a body that people say, oh, dude, good job, or we're so proud of you, or awesome job. That takes work. You know what doesn't take work? Re, somebody called me fat or stupid or this or that. Oh, guys, can you believe someone was rude like that? Now, in my day, people would be like, well, you are fat or, or you are rude. That's what it would have happened back when I was your, some of you guys' age, when I was young. But now it's like, oh, they're just awful people. You're so stunning and brave. And, blah, 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 blah. and it just keeps grinding on. Uh, so you guys get the idea. I'll move on from this because uh, I want to keep rolling along here. Um, and I'm going to take, uh, sorry guys, I've been going for about an hour. Give me 30 seconds. Let me let my dog out real quick. I'll make this super quick. I don't want you to get bored. 30 seconds. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. It's raining out, so I knew he'd be super quick.
He's a good boy. He's very patient. He just kind of stares at me, but he hates the rain. So I can open the door. He'll go real quick and then run back when it's nice out. He just goes and flits off and it had been an hour. All right. So five psychological experiments that explain the modern world. So I've done some of these in full length videos. I don't remember if I put the tags like, um, you know, like Milgram or whatever. I probably did. So if you want to watch my channel and my older videos and see, otherwise you can do a manual search if you really want, but I'm going to kind of touch on it anyway, because, but those were deep dives, like an hour into some of these experiments. Anyway, this is, uh, uh, the Milgram experience is going to be the first one. This is by Tyler Durden at uh, Zero Hedge. He says, the world is a confusing place. People do things that don't make any sense, think things are, uh, uh, aren't supported by facts, endure things they do not endure, and viciously attack those who try to bring th these things to their attention. Now, you notice that last sentence right there, viciously attack those who try to bring things to their attention. That's the TIV personality that we're talking about here. All right. Um, they say, have, have you ever wondered why, you've, if you've ever wondered why you've come to the right place? So here's these experiments. Number one is the Milgram exper uh, experiment. And I'll, I'll play it, but I'm going to mute it. I'm going to play it, but I'm going to mute it just so, and I, I know it's, uh, I know it's small, but what they're talking about here is to find out how people could hurt their fellow citizens in Germany. Okay. How, how could people do all these atrocities to the Germans, uh, to a certain segment of the Germans, the Jewish and, uh, and also the medically handicapped, the mentally ill, things like that. How could they do these things? and be okay and sleep at night. And so to study this, uh, this professor, um, uh, Yale psychologist Stanley Milgram, uh, did the Milgram tests. And yeah, I'm going to talk about the mouse utopia here in a second. Um, let me get that imagery off the screen. That's not very good imagery to have sitting on my screen. <laughs> uh, uh, Doug, dung is fun. Uh, the mouse experiment was a life changer for me. What I, uh, what, I saw an experiment I can see happening uh, today right now. Yeah, that's not one of the one on this list, but I am going to talk about that. So Milgram sees this happening in Germany, and he says, how can half of the countrymen in this country, countrymen and women in this country, how can they attack and do this thing to the other half? And so many of the SS and, and the Gestapo and everybody else said, well, I was told to, I was instructed to. And you might think, well, do they not have morals? Do they not have a moral compass? And this is going to play in really big right now, guys, in social media and dating. I know this, the two do not seem connected, but this actually does have to do with dating and what's going on in society right now. So what he did is he brought in uh, participants that came and they had a big electric panel in front of them and it had electric switches. And they went from mild, medium, very strong electrical shock and dangerous shock. Now, these switches weren't connected to anything, but the people sitting at the board were told by a, a guy in a lab coat that's conducting this uh, scientific experiment that they were connected to a person on the other side of a curtain. And the person on the other side of a curtain was just probably an actor sitting there smoking a cigarette and chilling. And they said, we're going to ask a series of questions. And every time they get the question wrong, you're going to throw a switch and shock them. And as they did this with each, each of the people in this uh, study, and, and if you haven't seen this at all before, read up on it or watch it. It is frighteningly, terrifyingly real. What happened is when they started getting those switches up in the, you know, the serious and or danger zone, people would say like, are you sure? Like, and, and all the person in the lab coat would say to the, the participant is, just do it. It's part of the test. They signed up for this. Please continue with the experiment, experiment. Or I think they only said, please continue. Please continue. That was their only, that was their only spurring on. And uh, I can, uh, uh, let me, you know what? I don't even know how to do a poll. Wait, here's a poll. Um, I've never done, I, I've never done any of this. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm so stupid. All right, this is for, uh, discuss this video right here, the Milgram experiment. Do you want to, do you guys want me to break down the whole video part by part or just give you a general overview and then keep rolling on? It's up to you guys. 
So uh, there's a poll in the chat. Uh, Florin B uh, says a uh, hundred Rom Rons, uh, Romania. Okay. Uh, hello, greetings from Romania. Man, I loved Romania. You guys are, you guys are kind of crazy out there. All right, seventy-one percent yes, sixty-eight percent yes. All right, maybe I'll I'll cover it, but I'll I'll cover it quickly for you guys because again, I don't want this to drag on forever. Thank you very much, by the way, Florin. I appreciate that. Seventy-four uh, percent yes. Okay, so it's coming in. All right. I'll break it down a little bit. I'll put this on like, uh, I'll put it on one and a half speed. It's five minutes, guys. So it's not e extremely long. And I'll play it back at one and a half times speed. So it'll be like three minutes. So let me get past the, because I've gave you the preamble here. We'll just zip through this. And conscience. These are exactly the questions that I wanted to investigate at Yale University. It is May 1962. An experiment is being conducted in the Elegant Interaction Laboratory at Yale University. The subjects are 40 males between the ages of 20 and 50, residing in the greater New Haven area. Psychologists have developed several theories to explain how people learn. One theory is that people learn things correctly whenever they get tape, and each protest was coordinated to a particular voltage level on the shock generator. Now, as a teacher, you were seated in front of this impressive-looking instrument, the shock generator. Its essential feature is a line of switches that goes from 15 volts to 450 volts, and a set of verbal designations that goes from slight shock to moderate shock, strong shock, very strong shock, intense shock, extreme intensity shock. And finally, XXX, danger, severe shock. Your job, the experimenter explains to you, is a word pair test. If he gets each answer correctly fine, you move on to the next pair. But if he makes a mistake, you're instructed to give an electric shock, starting with 15 volts, and you increase the shock one step on each error. Now, uh, they have some, some overlays here, but the big thing is, I think the last, the highest volta voltage on this was something incredible, like 300 or 400 volts. It's lethal. I mean, depending on the amperage, but I mean, it's still, it's pretty lethal. And people still were like, I was told to do this. I'm just going to do this. And these are just people sitting in a lab. Now imagine what somebody would do to somebody else if maybe there's a, a weapon to their head or if they can get social media validation or if they can get their revenge. Again, going back to this TIV, this personality type, the, the eternal victim. They'll punish people just to punish them even though it doesn't give them anything because it makes them feel better. Remember, the people that are out there will have no problems doing this. The learner was hidden from the teacher by a partition. Of course, this was all a simulation. Nothing was really happening. But the learner made very convincing sounds of pain as the shocks increased. This will be at 3.30. And Milgram found, surprisingly and rather horrifyingly, that the majority of people would actually go right to the very highest level if there was some pressure from a man in a white coat who said things like, It's absolutely essential that you continue. Yeah. Continue, please. Yeah. Let me just pause this for a second and go back a little bit because I want you to see this, this electric panel right here, and I know it may be a little bit difficult to see, but it says right here, danger, severe shock, and the last switches here are X, X, X. Giving the implication, you're probably going to kill somebody doing this. And I think up there it says like 430 or 450 volts, something like that. These are people that would have no problem ending you just simply because somebody told them, some guy in a lab coat told them. Now, what happens when the government says, hey, these people are the extreme people. We need to stop them. What happens when women say, these guys said and did these things to me, even without proof? They, have, they, they will not lose a night's sleep sending your ass to jail over a false accusation just to feel better, just to get some social media validation, just to get some attention, just because uh, you know somebody in Hollywood told them to do it. You guys have got to get this in your heads, and this goes from everything from dating all the way through. Dating all the way through to... You living your life. There are going to be bosses that are like this to you. There are going to be family, sometimes family members like this. There's definitely going to be government, police, IRS auditors, whoever. Some of them will just screw you to screw you. And it's a larger percentage because even like she said, he was shocked that it was the majority of people would do this to a fellow human being. And we're talking about maybe possibly ending somebody. Do you think they won't do something a little bit less to get revenge on you? You guys got to protect yourselves out there. It, it, you know, when you're around other guy friends and other people that are like-minded and, and have your back and, and you have a community, 
that's a good thing. That's one of the things we try to do when, when these men's channels and stuff like this do this. We want you guys to realize you're not alone. And, and we'll get into the alone stuff in a little bit. Uh, ben Walker, five bucks um, on the social political front. If anyone doesn't know about Mao's Red Guard, when people are rewarding for behaving badly, they will, especially at scale. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And remember, I mean, I'm, an, I'm a 50-year-old adult. Do you think any of these politicians know something that I don't? I mean, yes, they, let me correct that. They know things that I don't, but do you think that they have more compassion for people than I do? Do you think that they know better? Most of the time, most of these people have never even had jobs. A lot of the young women out there today, guys, that you're taking out on dates, they've never had a successful relationship. They've gone from body to body to body to body, you know, doing the same thing over and over, the sign of, of sheer insanity, stupidity, is repeating the same mistake and expecting a different result. And what do they do? They do the same thing over and over. And when you try to come in and say, hey, you know what, I'm different or I'm this or I'm that, they tell you to F off. Pressure from a man in the white coat who said things like, It's absolutely essential that you continue. Continue, please. Go on. In fact, about 65% of the people who he studied, who were normal volunteers from the ordinary population, actually gave the maximum number of volts. 65% gave the maximum number of volts. And when they told this gentleman to continue, he said, I'm not comfortable with it. Please, you must continue. You must continue. Just continue the experiment. And he shook his head and he's like, all right. Because when they interviewed many of these people afterwards, you know what the response was? I didn't do it. They, they told me to do it. And so they were passing the responsibility off to somebody else. Who does that sound like, guys? Women in the dating world today are told men are trash. Men are awful. They deserve more. Well, it's not my fault. Everybody on TikTok, everybody here, everybody in the government, everybody, uh, all these other people told me that this is, this is fine to do. So I did it and I don't care. Now, granted, it doesn't make them any happier. It's not going to improve their lives any. It may ruin yours. But they don't care. Again, this personality type's all about hurting other people in revenge. This man was one of those 65%. This one will be 195 votes. The correct one. Let me out of here. Slow. Dance. Let me out of here. My heart's bothering me. me he just said, let me out of here. My heart's bothering me. Now, the last part of this, and they'll, they'll, I'm going to say it now before we get to it so I don't have to stop it again, is they would buzz and the person made no noise, simulating that they had died or passed out or something like that. And these people just kept, kept on buzzing. Let me out of here. You have no right to be here. Let me out. Yeah, he said, did you hear that? He said, I'm not going to be responsible for it. I know I'm, uh, let me slow this down a little bit. The guy said, I don't want to continue. And, the, and the, the guy in the lab coat said, please continue. And he said, I'm not going to be responsible for it. Bzz. He's literally doing the action while he's saying, I'm not taking responsibility for this while he's doing it. Doesn't that sound like literally everybody today? and especially women that are making bad choices. Yeah, I slept with this guy. Yeah, he did, went raw. Yeah, I got a kid from somebody else's, but it's not my fault. I'm not taking responsibility for it. It's his fault. He's the one that didn't do X, Y, Z. He said he was going to do it. It's always somebody else's fault. Understand that. And, the, and guys, I, I, I don't do politics here, but I do understand with the times that are coming up, and I'm going to get into that. This is going to be a lo pretty long stream. The things that are coming from your government pretty soon are going to be, it's not my fault. I'm sorry you're running out of electricity or heat in Germany or the UK. It's not my fault. It's this darn guy up in Russia. It's not my fault. No, we don't have to send all this money up there and all these supplies and all these things, but it's not my fault. What's that you say? We're out of food? Yes, I shut down all the farmers in, in the Netherlands, but it's not my fault. We have to do it because of my climate. They're always, always look for passing. Why aren't things working? Well, because, and because, and because. It's in dating, it's in society, it's at your job, it's in the government. Everybody is turning into this. Uh, dung is fun. Dude, I'm gonna have to get you an ATM card for my channel here, man. I appreciate it, five bucks. Uh, the Mouse Utopia Experience explains a lot about bigger cities and society and inner cities. Mice in rural areas do not accept this. Humans the same. Yeah, and I will, I will talk about the Mouse Utopia here in a minute. Red. 
That is incorrect. This will be at 3.30. The correct phrase is rich Let me out of boy. Here. Let me out of here. My heart's bothering me. Let me out, I tell you. Let me out of here. Let me out of here. You have no right to hold me here. The next phrase is let fast. Out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out of here. Let me Bird, out. Bird, car, out. train, plane. Eventually, the learner pretended to be unconscious. Continue, teacher. That is incorrect. This will be 345. The correct answer is fast bird. What we learned from that experiment is that people will actually do an awful lot uh, when they're put under pressure from authority figures. And the problem is, of course, that when we obey the unjust authority figure, the person who gives us immoral commands, then, of course, awful things can go wrong. Awful things can go wrong, and they don't take responsibility for it. And understand something else, guys. And again, I, I'm, I'm not trying to get way political and all this other stuff. But when you, when you look at world events recently, can you think of anything else where all the upper ups told you to do something, and they told you not to question it, and they told you to just do it, or there's going to be problems? I'm sure you can think of a big event that happened over the last couple of years of comply or you're bad, comply or you should be locked up, comply or you can't participate in society, comply or it's the same little experiment that they're doing right here, except they did it for a completely different reason. And a lot of people, a lot of people, and this has nothing to do with the poke, 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 no poke, whatever, that's fine. The whole point is, look at the pressure and the way the government tried to pressure everybody else below them to become the guy giving the test. You see fights in grocery stores over whether they were wearing a, a facial cloth or not, a facial covering. Yeah, I'm watching my words because fuck YouTube. But um, there's a reason why. Because eventually the state doesn't have to do it anymore you have all these 65% of people become the agents of the state and they do the dirty work for the state and many of them do it for free. Now, how does this relate to dating? Same thing. Women will come out and say, men are bad, men are toxic, men are awful, men are misogynist, men fat shame me, men do all these awful things. Do men, have men really done it to them? Perhaps one or two, but is it the vast majority of men? No. But they've been told so often by TV and movies and parents and school and college, men are bad, men are bad, men are bad. Women, you can do no wrong. Women, you're just petals and flowers and all this stuff. And they take it in their head and they become the agents spreading around the same message. Uh, Tom Zelko, five pounds. Thank you very much. Uh, about business, five bucks. Thanks. Uh, can you do the text lines stream again? Can you do the text lines stream again? text lines. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Can you do the text lines stream again? I don't know what that means. I'll do lots of different streams, but I do them over on uh, locals most of the time because I'm stupid. And I mean that in a like, boom, Gen X or way of, I don't spend enough time streaming on YouTube to figure it out. And honestly, I, I, I don't care because I don't like YouTube. <laughs> I'm here. I'm just here to spread the word. If I could get off YouTube forever, I probably would, but I love you guys. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, so that's the Milgram experiment. Scary stuff. And the, and the conclusion, as he said, is people, um, people will literally continue to follow orders, even at the detriment of other people to the point that it ends them. Uh, Charles Lucas, nerdy and geeky journey. Welcome to bachelor. Uh, oh, welcome. See, again, I don't live stream here. I think that's when somebody joins the channel. It says, welcome to bachelor. Thank you. I thought that was like a member or a, somebody sending me a message. Oh, I'm such a, I'm such a gringo. <laughs> idiot. You white idiot gringo. <laughs> uh, so they say here, uh, the application, almost literally endless. Oh, let me share the screen again. Sorry about that. I forgot to flip it back. Uh, they say almost literally endless. All institutions can use this phenomenon to pressure people into acting against their own moral code. The army the police, hospital staff, wherever there's a hierarchy or perceived authority, people will fall victim to the diffusion of their own responsibility. Now, here's what's amazing about this, guys, right? Here's the best part about this. Do you know who's actually in charge of most of the governments that you guys are all members of? 
you, their elected representative, uh, representation of your wishes and the wishes of the masses. But what's interesting is once they get enough power, they will actually go against the majority of the masses saying it's for your own good. And they're hoping that you forget that you're actually in power. They act like they are. You're actually in power. Remember that. Uh, about business, the text messages too. Oh, the text message, uh, uh, like the, the uh, show, the the video that I just uploaded, my last one. Yeah, I'll do more of those. I don't want to do it too often because I, I like to keep, like my channel is all about just different stuff. Like this is a, a, a conversation I don't have in many of my videos is doing content like this. I like to keep it mixed up a little bit. Uh, third, Son of a Sparta says, five bucks, thanks. Gina Carano said the same thing regarding neighbors turning on each other and look what happened to her career and now Twitter channel. Yeah, all she said is, hey, if you look back at history, you guys, we need to we need to be friends and we need to get along and don't don't demonize your neighbor. And she made or uh, she made the connection to uh, the old time German. You know, she she referenced that, and people are like, oh, she's being anti Semitic or something else. Again, it's about shutting her down. So, guys, remember that as people, and whether it's whether it's movies, news, politics, social media, whoever, they're going to try to shut you down, and they're going to they're going to act like that you're the one that's crazy, and you're going to have other people coming after you, being the good little troopers like they have in this video, coming after you. Don't bow into the pressure just because you get a lot of pressure from a lot of different people doesn't mean that you're the one that's wrong. And I'm actually gonna I've I've got that coming up in another experiment actually. Uh, John Q. Ghost, again, 10 bucks. Thanks for the flying sticker. Appreciate it. Um, okay, so here's the next experiment is the Stanford prison experiment. I'm going to roll through these a little bit faster. I don't want to hang on them too much. Many have said, when I've talked about the Stanford prison experiment, many have said this was a fake experiment. I might agree with you, and even if it was a fake experiment that was done back in the 1971 the, the thing is, when you see what's going on today and you compare it to what's going on in this experiment, the two do correlate. There is a lot of similarities, which leads me to believe that the, the study actually has some merit. And again, and I'm not going to run through this one as long, but I'm going to uh, I'm, I'm going to kind of zip through the explanation just to get to the end point. You've basically got volunteers. They can leave at any point in time. They're volunteers. Some half were given the prisoner role, half were given the uh, the guards role. And over the course of a week, prisoners uh, started acting like prisoners. The guards started acting like guards. The guards would they couldn't physically harm the prisoners. That was part of the rule of the experiment. But they would punish them by making them cold, uh, making them scrub floors with a toothbrush for hours on end. And what happened near the end of the experiment is that the prisoners started acting like prisoners and the guards started acting like guards. They fell into their roles. And the weaker, the, and this is the most important point, I want you guys to hammer this home for everything, for everything in your life, hammer this home. The weaker and the more sympathetic and the nicer the prisoners were, the more harshly they were treated by the guards. Hammer that home. They say the conclusion, prisoner, the prison guards became sadistic. Prisoners became obedient. All this despite no real laws being broken, no real legal authority, and no real requirement to even stay in the experiment. If you give people power to dehumanize those below them, they will become st sadistic. If you pat people in, uh, if you put people in prison, they will act like they're in prison. In short, people will act the way they are treated. Let me read these before they scroll away real quick. Um, Johnny Derp, <laughs> ten bucks. Uh, I'm the very model of a modern major general. I've information, animal, vegetable, and mineral. I know the kings of England, and I quote the fights historical from ma Marathon to Waterloo in order categorical. I used to be able to say that a lot faster, but I haven't probably read that sentence in 30 years, and I'm not singing it for you. 
Uh, Westside Philly, 20 bucks. Thank you. Uh, never show emotions. I've been uh, hooking up with a chick on and off for 10 years. My son passed away two months ago. I had a moment. I cried a month ago after we hooked up. I thought she was asleep. Haven't heard from her since. Yeah, that's tough, man. It's so hard that if you're going to, uh, honestly, gentlemen, if you're ever going to have a moment of weakness, make it around family, make it around male friends, make it around people that you can let your guard down. Women say they want a weak, effeminate, and, and that I've got a video coming up here um, that actually touches on this. It's a story about uh, Nora Vincent, uh, who passed as a man. She dressed up and went as a man for 18 months, and uh, it, it messed her up so bad trying to understand the male world and, and other problems that she had that she ended up self-deleting. She took herself out, and she talks about that. So I am going to, I am going to t get there. Like I said, this is going to be a long stream. I got lots of, uh, lots of stuff to cover today. Um, and uh, Scott Smith, dollar, uh, message retracted. Okay. I'll read anything as long as it's not too, too salty. Uh, SCAM uh, 999 for a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Okay. So uh, the application, again, endless. We've seen it all through the bug, right? If you start treating people in a certain way, the majority will go along with it and blame the minority who refuse to cooperate. You're killing grandma. Just get the just get the poke already. Just stay home two weeks to to slow the spread. Just just let the mom and pop shops die out, but you can still go to Walmart. Just and here's the weird thing, guys. There, I've noticed. Uh, I've seen a couple of posts recently. There are still people, even though. And again, I'm not going to get into this topic very deep, even though there's a lot of people, including government agencies that have a lot of three letters in their names, even though they've come out and said, you know what, the face coverings aren't working and the poke turns out what didn't do so well. There are still people that have like three of them on and goggles and the gear out in, out in California and some of these West Coast states. They're still following the quote science on this stuff. Because what they did is they got they got so fooled that they need to be afraid that they're still afraid even even after a lot of other people have moved along. But remember, if if it can happen to people like that, imagine what happens when you convince a society, for example, that half the population is evil because they voted a certain way, or half the population is bad because of other factors, right? Eventually they want the people to do the dirty work of the upper ups. Um, okay, the ash conformity experiment. This one is my favorite and perhaps the most frightening of all of them. The ash conformity experiment is a great way to understand where we are in society right now, today, this very moment. The, and, and I have a video to play that's more modernized. So this is again from back in the 1950s. But, but a, the, um, right here, the, uh, the National Geographic did an updated version of this. I'll, I'll give you a quick premise. What it is, is they would have a room full of 10 people. They'd have one volunteer come in. Now, the 10 people that were in the room were all actors. The one person that came in the room was an outsider, wasn't involved. And they would show a, a like they'd hold up a, a card and it would have different lengths of lines on it. And they would, and, and in the video, I'm going to show you that they talk about it. And, and the length of line would be, does it match line A, line B, or line C? And any normal person with two eyes could see it matched line C. And what they would do is if they asked the person, you know, what, what line does it match up to? People would answer C. But in this experiment, they had this person that joined them go after all the actors. And all the actors were told to say the line A. So this person walks in, they see the chart, and, and they, they go down the room, they say, okay, what do you think? A, the, all 10 people, A, 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 A. And they get to the last person, they say, what about you? And I forget the percentage of time, but I think it was, might have been a majority of the time. Oh, here it is. Um, no, that's not the right percentage. Anyway, they say the majority of time, the, the person that knew the answer was C would say A. And when asked why, they said either 
there's two two parts to this, and the second part's the most frightening. Either number one, they just wanted to fit in with a group. They just wanted to go along to get along. They didn't want to feel like an outsider. They didn't want to be uncomfortable. They just wanted to go along with a group. And the more frightening one is the last group that said, I thought my, like, I thought I was messed up a little bit. I thought I was messed up and everybody else had it right. And I, I was just actually wrong. Now, where the, the application in this comes in, guys, especially in dating, in your job, and many other things, right? Is how many times are we told men get paid more than women? Um, men are, uh, you know, harmful. Men are toxic. Men are aggressive. Men are this. Men are this. We're told all these things over and over and over again. And if you're a dissenter, if you're a man, like most of you guys here, like myself, if you're a man that says, no, I'm not. And I'm even going to show you some proof. Otherwise, you're the outlier. You're the guy that's saying, I'm going to say C, even though everybody else is saying A. I'm not going to buy in that I'm poisonous or toxic or bad or have anger problems or whatever, because I want to talk about stoicism or I want to be masculine or I don't want to fall in on all these other crazy tropes. But what they're doing right now is they're trying to get a tipping point in society to where when enough people say young men are problematic and young men do this and older guys do this and the patriarchy and all this other stuff, they're trying to get men to buy in or agree with it because they don't want to be on the outside. I'll tell you who those men are. Those men are male feminists. Those are the guys holding the pink sign next to Karen over here saying, I'm with all women and, and men are bad and be great. Those people right there, they're the ones that are getting along or going along to get along. And they're the most poisonous, insidious, dangerous people in society. They're like little rodents. They're like roaches. They're the people that'll say, I, I'm just going to do whatever I need to survive and get along. And I'll, whatever you want, honey. And I don't, but deep down, they know it's not the truth, but they, they don't have a backbone to stand up for themselves. So they go along like little yes men, like little cowards. Uh, Jim Eagle, five bucks. Uh, once you understand everyone around you is a dunce, it's easier to be non-conforming. Very true. It is, but, you know, again, surprisingly, it's not the fact, it's not hard for a lot of us to be non-conforming. Those of us that have stoicism, intellectual prowess, the ability to reason things out, mm -hmm. common sense, uh, not needing to be part of the pack, not needing to follow along. For those people, it's it's easy. For the people that need to feel like they be, need to belong or they don't want to be ostracized or they get uncomfortable when people make fun of them or whatever, those are the people that fall in line. And the interesting thing is the more people that fall in line, the more people that fall in line, the more likely the outsiders are to also fall in line. Because during this experiment, if they had one or two people of those 10 people agree and say the right answer of C, the last person saying the right answer went way up because they felt like they had other people on their side. They felt like, okay, I'm not the only one. There are other people that see the same thing that I do. And why is that important? Well, that means that, that if you have these, a certain belief, speak out. You know, if you're all yay for this political party, speak out about it. Don't just keep your head down. Don't just say, I'm going to go along to get along. Speak out, speak your mind, give your voice, because that allows others to lend their voice. If a certain protest or a certain something is going along, but here's what else. That means that if a guy's accused of something, you need to be the first one of saying, hey, hey, maybe he did it, maybe he didn't, but we need to see some evidence. We need to wait till it goes through court. None of this just calling him out because he was accused of something. You need to be vocal about that. You need to push back because that allows other men to have the confidence of saying, yeah, yeah, like whatever happened to, to evidence, whatever happened to pushing back. The days of being quiet are gone. You're either in or you're out. You either stand up and, and give more, vo more voice to what you believe in because that will give other people the bravado of stepping up. And for you guys that are in the dating world or whatever, you know, if you think you're the only guy out there that's not getting matches or that isn't having any success in dating or you feel like uh, all women think I'm ugly or I'm unattractive or I'm short or I'm bald or whatever, you feel like odd man out. 
But if you realize very quickly that almost all men are having this problem or all women are acting this way, it's very easy to go, hey, you know what? I'm not the crazy one. They're the crazy ones. We're actually the big group over here. They're the little group of craziness. Now, that's not true. They're a big group of craziness. But the point being that now you can be more comfortable in your own skin. Now you can say, hey, you know what? I'm okay being judged. I'm okay. You call me your names. Because I'm not the, on the outside. Look at these millions and millions of men that also agree with me. Look at these YouTubers. Look at these other people. But that's part of the reason why they want to silence people that are on the outside. There's reasons why they, they, they take certain um, channels off of YouTube or remove certain content creators from, from Twitch or from whatever. Do you know why? because they started getting too many followers. They started getting too many people listening to their message. So what they do instead is they ban them and silence them, hoping that they can get back to the large majority talking the same way and everybody falls in line. So guys, I'll tell you right now, what the best thing you can do for yourself and for others that are of the same mindset for you is speak out for what you believe in, hold to your values, and push forward with it. And even if you're on the outside, even if people make fun of you, even if people, I mean, because we're, we're not talking about craziness here. You're just standing up for men and masculinity and being strong-minded and, and strong-willed and being, now, if you got some real wackadoo crazy stuff, okay, you know, maybe then you need to temper it and listen to kind of what society's telling you a little bit when you kind of go off the deep end. But for most of us, it's not crazy to say, I think the dating problem is women, and here's why. Am I going to get pushed back? Am I going to get people hating on me? Sure, and you will too. But the point is, if you bring, come forth with your data, you're going to get the re, 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 I can't hear you. But other men will hear you, and they'll say, hey, you know what? Even if the women don't learn anything, at least other men will be like, yeah, you're right, man. You're right. It's not all us that are the weird, crazy ones. Uh, Rob M90, 10 bucks. Thank you very much. Uh, listen in while getting my workout in. Thanks for all the content, Joker. You, you got it, man. Keep that pump up. I'm telling you. Stay in shape, man. And get all the protein packed on you while you can because God knows what we're going to be for food shortly. <laughs> uh, let's see. Johnny Derp, five bucks. Thank you again. Uh, the day will come when men will go mad and when they find someone who is not mad, they will say, you are mad. You are not like us, St. Anthony. Yeah. Never before in time, I don't think, has it been so clearly put forth that the intelligent, smart ones are being told to shut up so as not to offend the stupid ones. That's the way I look at things right now. Uh, Zentience, uh, five bucks, thank you. Go along to get along insidious guys like XQC. Now, I don't know who XQC is, I'll just be honest. A spineless worm, unsure and uncomfortable in his own skin, which he prioritizes over everyone else. I don't know. I don't know because I don't know who uh, XQC is. I will say this, though. Nobody likes a mealy mouth, like, just go along guy. They may seem popular. They may get a lot of likes and attention. That man has no, he has no, uh, he has no self. He's just a mirror of what everybody's throwing at him, and he gives it back, and they go, oh, we love this guy. They have no, they ha he has no self. Uh, Richard Burns, 999, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, you gotta you you better find yourself and you better have your voice. Um, uh, Don DeMeo, uh, two two pounds. Andrew Tate, your opinion? I'm not familiar with Andrew Tate. Although when he did did get banned from wherever it was, again I don't know TikTok or one of these other places or, or YouTube or what. When he got banned, he joined Rumble, and I did follow his channel on Rumble. I haven't watched a single video of his. I plan to at some point. But from what, what I understand, and again, don't flame me if I'm wrong, I've never heard the man utter a sentence. But my understanding is he's kind of speaking against the norms and what society and what everybody wants you to hear. He just seems to be speaking a counter message and they don't like him for it. I'll know more and maybe I'll do a video on it someday when I have a chance to, uh, to hear more about him or learn something. I just don't have, I just don't have enough to, to go off of. Um, somebody says here's, he's a pickup guy. Um, depending on, on the pickup mentality, I guess maybe that'd be okay, but I'll look into it. I'll try to look into it. Um, okay, so let's, let's do this video here that I have here. I want to show you this conformity video. I sped it up by 50%, so it is faster. 
I clipped out some of the music because of copyright and all that other stuff. But, but I sped it up 50%. I'll let a portion of this play through, then we'll talk about it. But this is conformity and conforming to social norms, even if you don't know what you're conforming to. This woman thinks she's here for a free eye exam. Have you been here before? No, it's my first time. What she doesn't know is that everyone else in this room is working for us. I'll be with you in just a couple minutes. We set up a hidden camera experiment to see if this woman would stand up at the sound of this tone, simply because everyone else is. You might be thinking you'd never go along with this. Or would you? After just three beats, and without knowing why she's doing it, this woman is now conforming perfectly to the group. But what happens if we take the group away? Now, before they take a, the group away, so again, nine or 10 actors or 12 actors, whatever it is, one woman that's not part of it, they stand up and sit down during every beep, every beep. And after the third one, she starts doing it and she doesn't know why she's doing it, but she's doing it. Why? To fit in with everybody else. Now imagine that you're a young girl or a young guy or impressionable, or maybe you're really young, like still in school. And all of a sudden, everybody around you is talking about f going from being a boy to being a girl, or from going to, from being a girl to being a boy, or to use these pronouns, or to use these words, or this is acceptable and this isn't acceptable. And, and at first it was just one or two, but now the teacher's pushing it. Now they have flags pinned in the hall. Now they have more and more and more and more. And you're a young person, five, eight, 10, 15, 18 even. What do you see? Everybody around you is conforming to it. And so what do you do to get along? You start conforming. You start saying, do you believe the thing? Um, sure, I believe the thing. I believe the thing. I want to be appreciated and I want to go along to get along. And that's what she's doing. And, you, and even in simple everyday tasks, and a great example of this is when I was in Iceland. I had my backpack, I'm hitchhiking, I'm making my way around Iceland. It took me about 30 days exactly. And you'd go somewhere and, and you'd see these tourist buses would get off. And people are walking to go see waterfalls and things like that. And a bus would pull up, the door would open, and the first person would get off and look left and look right. And whichever way they went, everybody else on the bus followed. It didn't come out like a pouring it came, they came out and worked in a snake line because they, they do have trails and stuff to walk down, like a paved uh, path. But what I found interesting, what was so interesting about this is that when somebody would go the wrong direction and they would go to a dead end, like they'd have a little path that would go up to something with a railing, they'd go up there and there wasn't anything to see, but it was a dead end. And so they would walk up and they'd turn around and walk away immediately they didn't pause for a second. Everybody else in line, instead of seeing that person walking up and going, oh, there's nothing here and turning around, instead of stopping and turning around then, what did they all do? One by one, each dummy went up to the edge, realized there wasn't something there and then turned around. Why did they do that instead of just saying, hey, you know what? Everybody else is not, everybody, there's nothing up there. I'm gonna turn around here. Why didn't they? Like lemmings off a cliff. And what you're seeing is the newest lemming in this girl in the purple. She's the newest lemming getting ready to head off the cliff. She's doing something for no reason, doesn't know why she's doing it, but only because everybody else is. Does that sound like pretty much everything that is going on in society? Dating, romance. I slept with him because he's a hot guy. Yeah, but did you like him? Oh, yeah, a little bit, but I slept with him. Why? Well, because I've been told that that's the way to get a boyfriend. Is anybody else getting boyfriends that way? No, but they're sleeping with a lot of hot guys. Well, it's not working very well, is it? So what are you going to do differently? Nothing. I'm going to keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again, like every other dummy. And in the meantime, guys are getting, man, these top five, 10 percenters, they're getting all the fun. All the rest of the guys are like, dude, um, hello, waiting for a girlfriend. Not going to happen. Because they've fallen into this, I'm going to do what everybody else is doing because I don't want to be left out. If I say I want to be a mom and a, and a housewife and, and just a stay-at-home mom and take care of my family, boo, hiss, who are you? You're, the patriarchy has trained you or confused you. So they just keep going along even if it doesn't make them happy. Uh, Slongy and Stu, new sub, thank you for the $2, 
Can't speak and chat for another 55 minutes. <laughs> 55 minutes? Uh, he, he, another two bucks. Uh, I do like what you were saying. Thank you. I never, I hope I didn't lock anybody out for 55 minutes. It's supposed to be for five uh, seconds. Um, Z, uh, Zentins, uh, for 50 bucks. Thank you very much. Wait, 50 bucks. I have a, I, I have a button for $50 or more. I actually made something. Let me turn on the volume so I don't blow everybody out. Now I did think about linking that to a video of a girl jumping up and down in a bikini with everything, uh, looking kind of spicy, but I didn't get that far. Much to your chagrin. Uh, Zentians, uh, 50 bucks. Uh, Q, uh, XQC is a guy, quote, who gained prominence as a Twitch streamer who po and with possible ADD and recently debated Andrew Tate. When asked uh, who would confront an intruder in his home by Tate, XQC replied, uh, no one. He claimed his job is to survive, not protect. Yeah, that seems kind of, that seems kind of scary. Because uh, no one else is going to protect you. I'm telling you that right now today. No one's coming, guys, to help you with your bank account, to put food in your mouth, to help you pay the rent, the bills. It is all on you. All right, let's, let's keep going on this stream. So anyway, lady's standing up and down. She doesn't know why she's doing it. There's no reason to do it. She's doing it to get along. And uh, uh, she's, do, she's doing it to do it. I cut the sound out. You didn't just suddenly go deaf. I cut the sound out because they were playing music and I didn't want to get copyright. Uh, but anyway, you see everybody, let me pause this. You see all the other members left, right? All the actors left. Now the only person that's in the room is the real woman that isn't even part of the damn experiment. She's the only one left in the room. Okay, now she's alone. The crowd is gone and nobody is watching her except our hidden cameras. What do you think she'll do? She's now conforming to the rules of the group without them even being there. Now, watch what happens when we introduce another outsider who doesn't know the rules. Have a seat and they'll be out in just a couple minutes. Thanks so much. Dude just looked at her like, lady, what is your deal? Uh, as long as do two bucks, thank you. Uh, oops, typos on my part uh, on the 55 minutes. And uh, Randall uh, Razik, welcome to the channel, man. Appreciate it. Um, so now you've got a woman that's like, she's just standing up and sitting down for no freaking reason. And the new guy is looking at her like, lady, are you crazy? This is the important part, guys. At first, people are going to be like, are you crazy? But if there's enough pressure, they're going to fall in line. Okay, that's kind of hard to see, but or here. But he says, "Why are you standing up?" And she says, "Because everybody else was, so I thought I was supposed to." Two questions. Number one, she's even admitting, "I don't know why I'm doing it." Number two, she's still fucking doing it. And number three, she says everybody else was doing it, so I'm doing it. There's no one else there. She's the only one continuing this on. And the guy and the guy asked her this stuff. Now, here's the weird part, guys. This is the part that blew my mind. Think she'll teach the new guy what to do? Motherfucker stands up. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting this is I turned off monetization for this. So I keep forgetting I can swear a little bit. Ma fucker stood up. And so now you've got somebody that doesn't know what the hell's going on teaching somebody else to do the same silly shit who doesn't know what's going on. Does this sound like society? Does it sound like the weird feminism? Does it sound like, hey, ladies, get a body count? Does it sound like, hey, just work all your life. You don't need no man because you'll be happy. And the women don't even know if you need a man or not. Women don't know if you're going to be happy or not working all your life. Why? Because it's the 30-year-old telling the 23-year-old, and ne neither one knows if they're going to be happy or not for the rest of their lives. But now you've got people, dummies learning from dummies is really what this turns out to be. Um, I, sir, toast. 
<laughs> I, oh, Sir Toast in brackets. Uh, 999, thank you very much. I got in an argument with my sister the other day. She's, she says my standards are too high. My standards are someone I'm attracted to, not obese, low body count, and preferred no kids. That's not too high. No, that's not too high. As a matter of fact, like li literally back in, I don't know, 1990, the 2000s, you would have called that the average woman. Not today, boys and girls. Let me tell you. All right, so you got dummy here learning from dummy. Thank you, Juan Hernandez, for the 10. And again, I'm reading these as they come because I don't know how to pull them back up. I'm just not good at this YouTube stream thing. So you got dummies learning from dummies. Neither one knows what's going on. Neither has a reason for doing it. Just everybody's doing it. We kept the cameras rolling as more unsuspecting patients arrived. I cut this part out again because they just had music playing. But now... Guys, everybody that's coming in this room, this is what they say. Everybody that's coming in this room is now no longer a test part or is no longer one of the actors. All these people are just people thinking they're coming in for a free eye appointment. And as they come in for a free eye appointment, these dummies see what the girl in the purple and then the guy in the blue and then the black lady, they start seeing everybody else doing it. And they don't know why they're doing it, but they do it. So now you have a room full of people that don't know why they're standing up after the beep, that don't question it, and just continue to do it. This is the normalization of a process. Now, when you ask yourself, why do they crap on men? Why do they say that men are bad? Why do they put commercials putting down men as stupid, incompetent, lazy, whatever? Why do they do this in movies? Why do they do this in everything? It's to slowly make it a normalized process. The demasculinization of men is being normalized. It's being normalized. And pretty soon people don't even have problems with men. They don't have issues dating. A man has never done something wrong to them. But they continue on because it's what everybody else does. I thought this was normal. Isn't this the way the world works? And it may not work for guys like us, but we're going to be dead. I mean, me personally, I'm going to be dead probably in hopefully 50 years, but who knows? I'm going to be dead someday, and some young guy that right now, some young boy that's seven years old is growing up in a high school that has rainbow flags, and he's told he's part of the problem because of critical race theory and white man bad, and, and, and you need to be in touch with your feelings, and how dare you, how dare you... Uh, you. How dare you speak out anything different than the mantra of the LDA, LDHD TV community and he's going to grow up and it's going to be normalized for him. And you younger you younger guys out there today better understand you're going to have one cuz I'll I'm I'm old enough. I'm old enough I can I'll hide in the woods. I'll be a transparent. I'll be transparent. Pronouns was were cuz I'll be gone. I'll be in a tent in the woods. I'm getting out of it. But you young guys don't have that opportunity, so you better take the mantle of speaking up for yourselves and fighting back against this craziness. Uh, shark dentures, for two bucks, thank you. Stupidity is like a virus that spreads. I may have read that. I may not have. I don't know, but thank you again. Um, some of these names, uh, be patient with me here. Parcelli, Parcelsus, Parcelsus, uh, Undorak, five bucks, thank you very much. A psychosis is contagious. A sick and broken society raises sick and broken people. Yeah, I've said it many, many times. It's like making a, a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. And for those of you that aren't old enough to remember copy machines, it's a, a copy of a meme. Take a meme, screenshot it, post it, and somebody else steals it and posts it. Someone else steals it and posts it. Over time, that video, that GIF, that... Um, uh, that meme photo starts looking like crap, all blurry and janked up because it's a copy of a copy of... That's how kids are turning out today. They're literally... Cop they're broken copies of broken copies and they're just getting worse and worse and worse. Uh, Nail Sh uh, Schroeder uh, uh, for the 35 uh, QTC. I'm not sure what that is, but thank you. Hi, Joker. And this is not only applies to feminism, it also applies to wokeism and all the alphabet stuff like kids identifying themselves as animals too. That's exactly what I'm talking about. It's exactly it. They're trying to normalize this. Uh, Slong and Stew, 10 bucks. Thanks again, man. 
Uh, average women is still average. That is just how arithmetic works. Girls changing their standards is the problem. It is important to make the distinction so people uh, don't have unreasonable expectations. Yeah, but here's the thing, guys. Remember, men have are bad. Men are stupid. Men are incompetent. Men are lazy, but they're paid too much in the patriarchy and blah. That makes our views on everything irrelevant. We men can't fix women. We men may not even be able to fix society at this point because we're not listened to. We're not taken serious. Start looking at the European leaders in the European Union and realize that the number of minority, the number of women, the number of other things are replacing just your average, normal, everyday uh, Caucasian man that was primarily what Europe was filled with. But now they're being pushed out and being replaced by other people. Now, I'm not saying that that's necessarily wrong. Just understand that they're saying now that these guys have had it good for so long that we are going to put them on the back bench, even though that's kind of bigoted, racist, sexist, whatever. We don't care because patriarchy and history. I don't know about you. I'm 50 years old. I have nothing to do with what's going on 200 years ago. But, but that's the theme today. And they're going to normalize it. And for you younger guys, you're, you get in the fight now. Memes, get your own videos posted. If you're creative and can do comics or art or something, start sticking up for yourself. Because like the meme of uh, the Grim Reaper knocking on doors and you see the blood trails coming out of the doors, you guys know which meme I'm talking about. Most of you do at least. They're not going to pass by your door. Just because you, you take the sign off the door that is whatever, and you say, I'm your friend, and you post it on the door, that reaper's coming from everybody. It started in the dating world. It's moved through marriage. It's moved through child custody. It's moved into social media. It's moved into YouTube where you can't say the wrong things or out you go. It's going to keep going on. And, and when all of us or whatever group is on the out group is out, they always have to have an enemy. They always have to be able to say, remember, because you can't be a victim if no one's victimizing you. So they have to say, oh, now it's this group that's oppressing me. Oh, now it's this group that's harming me. Oh, now it's this group that's against me. And when they're done with whatever group and they're cast out and they're gone forever, they find a new group and they will continue to eat the, themselves until there's nothing left. It is a snake eating its own tail. Um. Let's see, Atomic uh, Vomit, welcome. Uh, thank you for becoming a channel supporter or a channel uh, subscriber, supporter, whatever, I think. I forget what it's called. Member, that's it, member. See, on Locals, if you're a member, it's free. And if you're a supporter, it's paid. For here, if you're a subscriber, it's free. And if you become a member, it's, it's paid. I get all confused. Old man problems, I'm telling you. Uh, shark uh, Dentures, another two. Thank you very much. Uh, transparent and pronouns, was, were, stealing that. Yeah telling you, man, you better be ready to evaporate. But the thing is, you can only run so far. And for those that stick around, like I, I, I've, I'm going to do a portion over on Locals tonight. I don't think I'm going to do it on YouTube because it dips into politics. And I really don't want to talk left, right, authoritarian, all that stuff here. Because I want all men, no matter what you think politically, I want all men to feel that they have people that they can talk to and, and, and be a part of a community. But over there, I'm going to, I don't know if I'll do it right away. I may, I may give my voice an uh, hour to rest. But even for free members, like just being on betterbachelor.locals.com, you don't have to pay me anything. Just go watch the videos over there. That's where I do most of my live streams. And that's where I talk about politics and financing and all this other stuff. Just remember that, guys. I keep it off YouTube because that's not, not what I started the channel about. So, um. Gang fan, 10 bucks. Thank you very much. Xerox of a Xerox. Yeah. The old copy machines. I don't even think, unless you go to a Kinko's or a store, you can't even find them. Uh, thank you for educating the future males and us more open-minded females. You are welcome. And be you know what? Here's the best thing you can do as an open-minded female. When other women are misbehaving or acting the fool or being stupid, call them out on their bullshit. Because if they're your friend, they'll say, hey, thanks for Thanks for calling me out on that. Like, thank you. And if they shit on you and give you a hard time and call you names, they weren't your friend. And you don't need people like that. Because this, this upcoming, this male-female war is going to have to be won by women. This race war that, oh, all these men that hate Lord of the Rings, the two 
or the Am the new Amazon special. It's not Lord of the Rings. I don't know what it is, but it has nothing to do with Tolkien or Tolkien. Um, but whatever it is. Uh, the ones that are going to win this, oh, if you say something about this movie and you don't like it, that means you're a, a racist. It's not, I can't say anything about that because they'll just say, well, you're just another racist. You're just another racist. But what it's going to have to be is minorities coming out and saying, hey, cut this out. Like we can make fun of a movie without having to go to identity politics. At whoever's the victim class is those people of that class are going to have to stand up and say, hold up, wait a minute. Where's my button? Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. They're the group that's going to have to come out. They're going to, they're going to have to be the ones that come out and say, no, 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 no. Don't, don't play these games with us. And if, and if, you've, uh, if you are on Twitter, there's a group, and it's, um, again, this is a word I cannot say on YouTube, but it's uh, uh, gaze against broomers. You know, like when you take your dog to the salon to get him cleaned up, they call it a, a broomer, brooms, brooming, broomer. Anyway, it's gaze against those type of people. And what it is, is it is the, the LGBTQ community saying, no, no, we're not okay with doing this to kids. We're not okay with these shows. We're not okay with, with showing this stuff to kids, to minors and stuff. Knock it off. That's somebody in the community calling out somebody else in the community. That's what's going to happen. So thank you uh, for the donation. I don't mean to go off on a tangent. Thank you for the donation. I mean that very, very much. Thank you for being a female watching my content. And most importantly, make sure that you're a voice for sane women, for women that get it, for women that understand, for women that like men, for women that understand that we have our own issues. And again, I'm going to be doing, uh, coming up next here, actually, I'm going to be doing a story on this, which is um, uh, a story about Nora Vincent a woman who tried living like a man and ending herself. I'm doing that next after this segment. So we're getting there. Not much longer, guys. And she tried living as a man and she's like, I did not know men had it like this. And it sent her into a tailspin. Uh, Taco Bella Lugosi, <laughs> I love that name. Uh, I say being a single guy, free to do what you want uh, when it comes to women, never to conform to them. Yeah, Here's the thing. If you want women, don't chase women. Chase your dreams, chase money, chase your life, chase your happiness. And if you have a really happy, wonderful, amazing life, you'd be surprised. Women will be like, they can smell success on a man like nobody's business. That's how you get women. If you chase women, you won't get the women and you'll never get the money and the success and the fame and the fortune, whatever else. You want to get a woman, go to the gym, get muscles, look good. Chasing a woman, I mean, don't do it for the woman, but my point is if you do that as a hobby or something you love, the women will come. Don't chase women, chase your dreams, the women will follow. And if they don't, who cares? You got a great life. Um, Parcellius Undurak, again, $10. Thank you very much again. Uh, to restore a sane society, a parallel culture, parallel economy, and parallel infrastructures must be created. I agree, which is why I'm on Locals. I actually am on Locals now more than YouTube. A lot of people don't know that. I live stream three, four times a week, sometimes on locals. I do segments over it. Like when my YouTube is 11 minutes here, you might go over there. It's 27 minutes long and it's free. You don't even have to be a supporter to get it. I go on rants and a bunch of stuff that you guys don't get on YouTube because Big Mama YouTube locks me out or demonetizes or, you know, age restricts or whatever. Literally 100% of my stuff is on locals. You guys get like, 40% maybe. Uh, not that I don't love you, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to leave YouTube. I'm still here just to, because I love you guys and I want you to get the messages. But uh, let me see if I missed any other super chats. Uh, uh, Brandon Kramer, welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for becoming a member. Uh, Niall Schroeder, uh, 35 again. But Joker, I've, uh, I've seen already people pushing the boundaries. It happened in the Netherlands, a, tran a transitioning woman demanded to be identified as a, a teenager. That's okay, let them. Let them push these boundaries. Do you know what all these boundaries being broken and everything collapsing and falls into? Bad times. This is literally like taking bad times in a big and injecting it right, zip, bang, right into the vein. Bad times. We're gonna accelerate this decline, which means hopefully a quicker crash, quicker recovery. Let's hope that's what that, this is going to mean. 
Because it's kind of like this. Things have been bad for a while, and then suddenly. That's how the Great Depression came about. That's how many military conflicts came about. It was a scuffle, 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 bang. We're getting there, guys. And, and again, uh, to, to give you an example of one of the topics I'm talking about tonight, Russia just cut off gas to Germany and, and the UK. U UK prices skyrocketing, factories closing. 60% of manufacturing is closing because they have no energy and the electricity bills are going too high and they don't know if they're going to have heat for winter. Guess what, man? Bang, right there's your crash. I've been talking about it for months over on Locals because I don't get into the politics over here on YouTube. I've been talking about the crash coming. It's here. Like it's literally this winter, people may freeze to death. They got to choose between heat and food. And this is in Europe. This isn't like the UK. This is in Germany. It's going to happen here in the United States too in some ways. I'm sure of it. Here we are. It's the crash. We're here. Congratulations, everybody. We made it. Made it to the crash. Now we got to make it through it. That's the trick. Uh, Gang Fang, uh, 20 bucks. Do you have suggestions on how to build a YouTube channel about uh, standing up and calling out childish and, and selfish females? I have a growing channel, but I'm scared of uh, in real life reper repercussions. I'm well known in my geographical area. Here's a great way. All right. I'm going to show you something that's amazing. All right. Let me, let me bring this up here. show clips of actually what's going on. Like if you're talking about a news story, just post that. With a, and if you want to have an avatar and all that stuff, like that's all you, all you got to do again. Can you guys hear me okay? Don't tell me that you can't hear me. You guys hear me all the way through that or did you lose some part, part when the screen was blank? Anyway, my whole point was when the screen goes blank. But yeah, I flipped that on purpose. My point was you can cover your face. Oh, you guys didn't see me... Uh, you didn't, you didn't see my little uh, uh, blank screen pop up? Okay. All right, my bad. Anyway, my point was you can put an avatar, you can put um, can you hear me now? I don't care about then. Can you hear me now? Okay, you guys can hear me now. Okay, I flipped it to the screen. I didn't realize my audio cut out. What I was saying though, okay, my whole point was put up an avatar, put up a blank screen, put up something to cover your face, put up a news article instead, put up a freaking cartoon, put up a picture of your dog. You can still talk about the problems today. When I first started my channel, all I did was I had uh, articles. I just had articles covering my face. I didn't even show myself for like the first five or six videos. Now, I've, I've reconfigured my, my channel a little bit, and I took those videos down, but just cover your face up. But it doesn't mean you got to be quiet. That's all that means. And I'll quit screwing around so I don't blank myself out again. Uh, Paracelsus uh, Underrock, 10 bucks again. Uh, the CCP economy is collapsing, and, and the CCP's rolled out some tanks to quash the banking protests. As it gets desperate in uh, Xi Jinping, Xi Jinping, Secures a third term, uh, an attack on uh, Taiwan will happen. Uh, it's going to get bad. And here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. And remember this. This is so important. When a country goes and, and gets in a military conflict, they have a new excuse for why things are bad. Everything right now is bad because of the war between Ukraine and Russia. We have to help. We have to help Ukraine. We got to send money there. It's okay. Go cold. Go hungry. We're helping Ukraine. The fact is, guys, I can tell you this right now because I've been tracking the economies of everything the way it's been going on. This energy crisis, while it might not be quite as bad, obviously, it'd still be happening because they're pushing it to going green. There's the, the Dutch farmer shut down. That's, that would still be happening without all this conflict. Here in the United States, California is out of electricity and getting blackouts. You can't charge your electric cars. And because they're having problems with that, that would all still be happening without this conflict. Just the conflict is the excuse. And when they don't have that excuse anymore, 
they're going to come up with a new excuse. Remember, when you're the victim, you always have to have somebody to blame it on. The last person these governments are ever going to blame it on is themselves. You'll never hear Biden, uh, uh, I don't know who they just uh, got for the prime minister of, of uh, the UK. I think that she just got in today. You're never going to hear these people go, you know what, guys, I really screwed this up. This was on me. Our government screwed up. This is on us. Never hear it. Always get excuses. Why? Because again, remember, we are in the victim period. The people in government now have the same mentality, this, this tendency for interpersonal victimhood. They're all victims and you can't be a victim without someone to blame it on. Just remember this. Just remember this, guys. So when the government says, or these people say, or they're blaming, and you know something? I just saw this pop up. Trump never took accountability either. You're damn right he didn't. It's totally perfect. Everything's fine. I, I'm, I'm the greatest. Like, I get that about Trump. But Trump also, at the time, we weren't in a bad place. Now we're in a bad place. And who's in charge? It's time to make fun of the people who are in charge today. The accountability today. That's who, what matters. And you know what? If a different political party or someone else gets elected or something else happens and things get worse or stay the same or whatever, you start blaming them. Don't be fanboying for anybody in the, in the government, in the military, in the cops. Don't be a fanboy for any of them. They'll all end you in a heartbeat if it gets them somewhere. Understand that. But, but if you're going to call people out and make fun of what's going on, you got to call out the people that are in charge right now, period. Uh, infamous New York City. Man, you're in New York City. Good luck to you. My, my fr I used to love New York City. Man, has it fallen on hard times recently. Uh, no jab, no job. Didn't stop this nurse. Been ducking and dodging it, and uh, it contract to contract. Never conform. Stay strong. Stand firm. Good for you. I think that's absolutely great. I hope you're getting some food stuffs tucked away in your 150 square foot, $2,000 apartment in the Bronx or wherever you live. Because I'll tell you, man, if, if, if things get tough with the food and electricity and everything else, you run out of food real quick in cities. All right, let's, uh, let, me, let me get through this seg segment here with the up and the down. and the. So anyway, we've got a lady that's standing up and sitting down for no reason. She doesn't know why she's doing it. She's taught everybody else to stand up and sit down for no reason. They don't know why they're doing it, and all the dummies are just doing it. And like I said, I think I muted this Which part. Which again is a random rule for this woman. Has now been yeah, I muted that part because uh, there's it was just playing music. What began as a random rule for this woman has now become the social norm for everyone in this waiting room. Here to explain what's going on in their brains is Jonah Berger of the University of Pennsylvania. This sort of internalized form of herd behavior is part of what we call social learning. Starting at a very early age, when we see members of our group perform a task, our brains literally reward us for following in their footsteps. When I saw everybody stand up, I felt like I needed to join them. Otherwise, I'm like excluded. Once I decided to go with it, then I felt much more comfortable. Conformity is how we become socialized, but it can also cause us to develop bad habits or repeat past wrongs. And it's why even this rebel, who wasn't standing for any of this nonsense, eventually joined the ranks. And the only thing more shocking than seeing how easily conformity affects the way you act is that similar forces are subconsciously shaping the way you think right now. All right, I don't know why they ended on this weird, creepy, clown-looking dude standing next to a mailbox, but you get it. Even, even the one that didn't want to conform, and he just sat there while they were all up and down, up and down, and up and down, and eventually he gave in. And so what happened is you had one woman get trained by all these other people, similar to feminism, um, like the third wave turned into fourth wave, and then it kind of became fifth wave or whatever. They taught the younger girls to do this, with, and the younger girls have no experience. They have no life experience. They have no dating experience. They have no actual real experience with a man, a happy family, a secure home, any sort of stability. And already there are 20-year-old TikTokers going on complaining to men, or excuse me, complaining about men, telling the next generation why they need to avoid men and why men are toxic and bad and this and this and this without having any real experience 
for themselves. That's the lady in the purple here. Derpy, derpy, up and down and derpy, derpy. Why are you doing it? I don't know. Well, I'll do it too because you're doing it. Derpy, der And per before you know it, you got a cavalcade of idiots standing up and sitting down. Don't even, no one knows what in the hell they're doing. Does this sound like anything familiar? Medicine, pharma, government, every, all, all the things. <laughs> all the things are a bunch of derpy derps not knowing what they're doing and it's going to come all crashing down real quick guys the dating the marriages the happy families the education system lghd tv rainbow pride this that yeah it's all coming down and you know how i know it's coming down and you know why i know it's coming down in one big massive boosh because pretty soon, it's going to start in the UK and Germany and everything else. Pretty soon, the government's going to keep, oh, it's not our fault. It's this. It's, it's already happening in Prague. They have a protest going right now of 70,000 people saying, hey, you know what? We don't care about this stupid Ukraine-Russia thing. Knock it off. We'll stay neutral. Bring, bring energy here. Bring food here. Bring clean water here. Because it started, it started in like Sri Lanka. I think it was Sri Lanka. I did a video on this a couple months ago. It started in Sri Lanka. And then it went to, um, was it Bangladesh? No, not Bangladesh. Uh, Sri Lanka was off India. Anyway, it happened to another country where they're like, hey, look at us. We're out of petrol and we're out of food and people are hungry. And they overran their government. That was just a month, month and a half ago. In, in, in 45 days, guys, it made the leap from these small little countries not much GDP, very small. It made it to Germany. It made it to France, although France has nuclear energy, so they'll probably be okay. It made it to the UK, where now they're like, better cut back on your electricity and, and hope you don't freeze during this winter and also going to go hungry. 45 days, it made it to a big country. The next leap to the United States, probably 60 days off. And I know, I know we're getting away from dating, guys, but this is all the same thing. It's putting the mouth-breathing victim mentality, pay attention to me, I'm special, you got people. And look, I'm not picking on one particular party here. I'm going to use the United States because that's all I know. But you got the Finland, I guess the PM, the prime minister, some young girl dancing, getting drunk, uh, dancing around on, on uh, Instagram or some crap. You got Trump that's more worried about social media than anything else right now. I mean, Trump's always been a very much a, hey, look at me on social media. Good or bad, doesn't matter the way, which way you view him. You got to admit, lots of tweets, right? He wanted to be in front of the limelight. Now you've got people like Ocasio, uh, occasional Ocasio-Cortez. And I call her occasional Cortex because she only thinks once in a while. But... You got her being more worried about her social media. Joe Biden would be on social media more if he remembered to use his phone or remembered how to use his phone. Look, guys, this is just where we are. And now you have these same people lying to you, and they're also in the banking systems. They're in the financial systems. They're all the young people that are coming into the companies, infiltrating the media departments and the finance departments. I know this is all going to go away, guys, because everything's going away. Like all these systems are going to collapse in on themselves. And when they have to build them back up, they're going to be looking for the smart people, the hardworking people, not the people that are crying because you use the wrong pronoun, not the, not the people that are whining because you maybe misgendered them or something. They're not going to be the ones rebuilding the society. I'm hoping the crash is hard, quick, and we can get back on the buildup. But I'm telling you guys, it's coming. I, and, I, and here's the thing. I got 60 news stories I could do, but I'm, I'm not going to get into that stuff here. I want to keep this focused on the men's stuff. But as men, you man, you better have some backup food. I literally have six containers of peanut butter that are this big. Huge ones. All natural organic peanut butter. I've got containers and containers and containers of protein powder. Because I got some carbs. I could probably go on the carbs I have in my body. I could probably go 60 days. But you need your protein. I got mass fuel. I've got, I've got pasta. I think I, I went and bought these huge things of pasta. They were like on sale at Costco. I probably have a, 
200,000 calories worth of pasta. I don't want to eat pasta every day. But I'll tell you right now, if it's like, do you want some pasta and a protein shake or do you want to starve? Joker's eating him just, just plain old pasta. And if I, I'll be lucky if I can get some butter and salt on it. You don't, man, I've been to, to small countries, Philippines, Malaysia, Thailand, places like that. And I've been in very small towns and watched how little they have to eat and how thin everybody was. Now, what happens when only two out of the three get the food? And you think I'm joking, but I'm, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, things are not... When you have Europe, like we're closing 60... Or UK, we're closing 60% of, of companies and people's electric bills are going from 2,000 to 15,000 or 12,000 or whatever. I'm t Join me over on Locals. I'm going to be talking about it later. Sorry, I get on these tangents. Uh, uh, Nady, Nady says uh, 10 pounds. Thank you very much. This speaks to me so much as I have fought so hard against external validation. I've done exactly what I want to do. I laugh how people follow the masses out of airports when they're faster, faster exits there. Yeah. Just don't be a sheeple. Don't be a sheeple. And the government, what's funny is the government is chasing the woke. Governments are chasing the woke right down the toilet drain. All right. So, uh, and here's the, the last, um, this is the last, uh, I'm just going to play this straight through. This is on the ash, uh, uh, experiment that I was telling you about the bar lines. Um, this is what I was talking about. And th this is a modern version of it, but they do the exact same thing. Deck of the USS Intrepid conducting an experiment and the rules of the game couldn't be simpler. You've got to decide which one of these three straight lines is the same length as this first card. Take a look for yourself. Think you've got it? Before we reveal the answer, we'll show you where these people stand. I think it's A. 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 It's A. Yeah, I'm going to go with A. It looks like everyone is going with A. Definitely A. Do they know something you don't? What do you think? Uh, it's A. You're going to go with the group? Yeah. All right. Oh, are you guys just sitting there staring at my dumb ass? I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, enjoying me watching my vape. I, I quit cigar and I quit um, cigarette and I quit pipe smoking like t three or four years ago and I've been doing the vape. But I I'm done with that like this month. I'm done with that this month. Sorry, guys. I, you know, oh, you know, again boomer problems, even though I'm not a boomer. All right, let me start this again. Now, remember, the correct answer on this next experiment is C, but everybody's going to answer A. Yeah, I know vapes are, vapes are not worse, but they're certainly not better. They're just probably different in a different way, because I'll tell you, I ran an ultra marathon of 50 miles while I was vaping. I, I couldn't run up a flight of stairs when I was smoking. There's a huge difference between, now, long term, I don't know. I'm quitting all of it. Except my coffee, damn it. Give me one vice, please. And, I, and you know what? I'll, I don't know. I'd still like to go back and enjoy a pipe every once and again. But when it felt like it was a necessity, I don't want to be anything to be a necessity. So I wanted to quit it. All right. The correct answer is C. Everybody in line ahead of the last lady is an actor. She's the only real one. Deck of the USS Intrepid conducting an experiment, and the rules of the game couldn't be simpler. You've got to decide which one of these three straight lines is the same length as this first card. Take a look for yourself. Think you've got it? Before we reveal the answer, we'll show you where these people stand. I think it's A. 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 It's A. Yeah, I'm going to go with A. It looks like everyone is going with A. Definitely A. Do they know something you don't? What do you think? Uh, it's A. You're going to go with the group? Yeah. All right. Great. Is that what you picked, or did you go with another answer? It turns out the answer to this round is C. And while you likely chose C first and stuck with your answer, we also know that some viewers might have felt the peer pressure and switched to A. It's A. I want to ask you something. Did your gut at first tell you that the answer was actually C? Yeah, but everyone was choosing A, so I just felt like I had to pick A too. You felt the pull of the crowd. Yeah. Falling in with a crowd. Sheeple. Sheeple, sheeple, sheeple. You know, one of the funny things when they when it comes to voting is they've always said it, it's like the lamb uh, sitting down to dinner with the lion and the wolf deciding which one gets to eat it. That's This is the kind of mentality. That's the kind of mentality. No, and, and I, maybe I'll pull up these other, uh, I do have another story that maybe I'll share with you, but mainstream media, schools, education systems, everybody's telling you stop critically thinking. Just drink the Kool-Aid, guys. Just drink the Kool-Aid. All the pain will go away. It'll all be over soon. Just drink the Kool-Aid. That's what they're doing to these, these people today. In case you haven't figured it out yet, we'll let you in on a little secret. 
The first nine people in this line were working for us, and each time we ran the experiment, they were instructed to pick the same wrong answer. A. 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 It's A. Seeing all these people choose A left the last person in line who wasn't in on it with a tough decision to go with their gut or with a group. You're going to go with the group? Yeah. Although not all of the test subjects at the end of the line fell for it. I think it's A. In spite of what everybody else thinks, you don't trust the wisdom of the crowd? Uh, I'm trusting my gut. Okay. To be perfectly honest, I think C looks closest. And you think that they're all wrong? Yeah. Okay. Hi, guys. And don't beat yourself up if you were now. I want to show you something with this guy, right? He's the only one now. The, the woman also did it, but they didn't show her walking past. Here's a guy, one lone wolf, right? Guy all on his own. Everybody else has picked a different answer. And what does he do? Does he walk by him with his head down? Does he walk by him all kind of show? Uh, oh no, did they just they just said we've detected copyrighted audio and video in your stream? Your stream is something. Your stream may be temporarily blocked. You idiots. Even playing this at one and a half speed and even having a complete different topic discussion. Why does that not surprise me? Anyway, we'll, so if, if part of this, part of my blank out on the replay, I don't know. Do you, do you guys still see me and hear me? Okay, I'll ask that much. Okay, as long as you can, as long as you can hear me and see me, I don't care. Um, and yeah, maybe they, maybe they demonetize this. Like I said, I already marked this as non-monetized. Um, I'm just doing this for your tips today. That's all it is. I'm just doing it for your tips. But you know, I, I sped. This is one and a half times speed. I purposely took out chunks out of everything, and they're still gonna try to. This is why I'm over on locals, guys. YouTube makes us jump through so many damn hoops to try to tell a story and, and pass some knowledge. Get over on Locals. It's freaking free. It's free. And it's so much better. The, I'll tell you, the best part of Locals, seriously, betterbachelor.locals.com, the best part of it is the forums. We link news stories. We link s s studies. We link... We talk, whether it's politics, we talk about business, we talk about finance, so many men's issues we talk about over there, censorship free, period. The only thing you can't do is post the tatas and spicy photos. And I'm the moderator for all of it. I'm the only moderator. So I've actually had people that submit my posts for moderation, which I find funny. It's like, I'll get rid of this. I don't like this post by this guy. I'm like, that guy is me. I think I will keep this here. I'm the only moderator, so uh, so join me over there, guys. All righty. Um, okay, so I, I won't play the rest of the video here because obviously they give me a hard time, but the whole point is this last guy that walks past the crowd, I, that's the point I wanted to make. Chad Chaddington here. Even though he picks the opposite of what all these sheeple did, and he picks C, did he walk by him with his head down? Did he walk by him like, no, I don't, I guess I'm, nope. He's like, sup guys, how you doing? I'll see you later. Walks right by him. Head held up high, walking like a boss. Why? Because he doesn't care what they think. He doesn't care what everybody else did. He, he's, he's, he chose what's right. Now, maybe, maybe he eventually turns wrong or turns out he was wrong. He doesn't care. He, he carved his own path. That's what I want you guys to do when you're, you know, when you're zipping through life. Don't worry about the social media validation. Don't worry about what women say about you on the dating apps. Don't worry about even what some of your friends say. Although if they're real friends, they'll at least appreciate your input. Don't worry about that stuff. Just keep chugging through. Do your thing. Because there's hundreds and tens of hundreds and thousands and millions of people that feel about things the same way you do. Let me snag these couple of, of super chats before they fly by. Gosh, it makes me so mad. Friggin' YouTube. Uh, Steve John, five pounds, $3,500 energy bill when the average UK salary is 39,000. Almost 10% of, uh, of, of salary on energy is insane. I got news for you, champ. That's when the Nord, two, Nord 1 pipeline was shut down for just a couple of days recently. Those bills are coming out from a month ago. It's going, to, it's going to be even worse next month. And Russia just came out and they're like, we're just closing it. We're done. 
until you remove sanctions off Russia, no more gas. You think things are bad at going from 3,500, wait till they are, your bill's 39,000. But again, I'll be talking that, about that on Locals. Uh, Zachary uh, Bendixson, uh, two bucks, thank you very much. I'll read the Mouse Utopia experiments from the 60s. I did a video on that like two years ago. And again, I'm not going to get real deep on the mouse utopia, but um, but remember, it was putting too many mice in one small area. And um, and I don't remember a lot of the specifics, but things started to get weird where mother mother mice were eating their young, killing them. Others weren't, weren't procreating anymore. Some just sat in a corner preening themselves all day. They were called the beautiful ones. They nicknamed them the beautiful ones, not that the mice called themselves the beautiful ones. So, so you've got, you've got the mouse, you took a brilliant, but look at cities, look at the breakdown of crime right now in cities. People are going mental. I just read a story in Canada. Some guy, guy went and like ended 15, 10 or 15 people with a friggin' knife. Thank goodness that, that Trudeau got rid of all those bang, bang, pew, pews. No more crime, no more violence. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. That's not how this works. Uh, Paulie Bassman, uh, six six pounds and 66 cents. Thank you very much. Hey, Joker, never mind. C, what about the F-14 Tomcat? Never mind. C, what about the F-14 Tomcat? Is that a reference to, to Biden saying you need an F-14 to fight back against the government? I don't know about you, but I won't get into the politics. I, I promised myself I wouldn't. Uh, Dung is fun, two bucks. Uh, that's what she said, just the tips. <laughs> Baby, I'm just working for the tips today. I'm just working for the tips. All right. Uh, we'll go to the last segment I have here. Um, you know what, though? I'm not going to be able to play this here on YouTube, I don't think. Because the last segment, I chopped it up. It's from ABC. I chopped it up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to paraphrase it here. And then I'm going to do this video over on Locals because I don't want to rush. I don't want to have to keep killing the audio. I don't want to have to keep pausing it every freaking five seconds. I don't want to do that. Because because the last story I have here. What I will do though, I'm going to bring up the topics I'm going to go talk about on locals. I don't know if I'm going to do it tonight or tomorrow. I'd like to do it tonight. But after talking for a couple hours, my voice does get a little bit hoarse. But I want to show you some of the topics that I'm going to, I, that I want to talk about here. And this is what I'll be talking about over on uh, Locals when I do my next video. Because I want you guys to know what's up, man. Squeeze this in here. There we go. Start at the beginning here. And I'll, I'll dive into deeper, deeper in on this on... Uh, I'll dive deeper into this over on Locals. But I want to give you a snapshot of the stuff I talk about over on Locals so you guys kind of know what's up. Uh, the Daily Mail, win your gas and electric bills paid for a year. This is literally like some, uh, what it was that I'm thinking of, the, the Squid Games. This is like Squid Games, Hunger Games stuff, where, where there's contests just to pay your bills. Uh, this is a video I'm going to play over there because, again, copyright and all that stuff over here on YouTube. They got some TV show where you can spin a wheel, and they've got a, the prizes are $1,000 every other slot is a thousand dollars and then every other slot is energy bills so we either win a thousand bucks or energy bills this is from today i think amazon uh no not that one uh right here Seventy thousand protest in prague against czech government russia halts natural gas flow to europe indefinitely uh russia cut, cuts off gas sanctions Germany announces $65 billion relief to citizens package. Guess what happens, guys, when there's inflation and you print more money to fix inflation? You get even more inflation. We call that hyperinflation. 60% of British factories at risk of going under as energy bills soar. So, guys, they're going to be turning, turning off factories. California calls grid emergency with power use at five-year high. They're going to be just shutting down the grids in California. No more air conditioning. No more charging all those electric cars that you've been mandated to drive. Thousands of Excel customers, which is an energy group, locked out of their thermostats. 
and, and this is, I think, in Denver, they lock their thermostats so you can't lower the temperature anymore. They're, the company is going to set what you're allowed to have air conditioning set at. And right here, they have an article, would you take out a loan to buy gr this week's groceries? There are people that are borrowing money to buy groceries. How long do you think this lasts for? How long is this sustainable for? Um, uh, Alyssa Roxova XO, three pound 49 cents. I used to know somebody with that name and I think, I think she's from the Ukraine. Is that you, Alyssa? Because if it is, I'm telling you, 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 you should jump back onto locals because there's a whole community over there that wondered what happened to you. This is a, a gal that, that uh, some dude, I, I don't know if this is her. I think it is. Anyway, we had a member over on Locals who um, some guy ended up like hitting on her or do something, and she was like, no, that ain't happening. And he ended up clubbing her and whacking her and knocking her out, and she had to go to the hospital. And I don't want to tell her whole personal story, but a, a guy did something very bad to her, and the community absolutely loved this uh, gal. Very, very bright and, and smart woman who's a great member of our community. And she just kind of, with everything going on in you, Kit Crane and a bunch of stuff, and she kind of disappeared. The community misses you. I hope you can come back because uh, uh, a lot of people are big fans of you. Uh, the Mouse Utopia was very, very few mice to see the population growth and see what happens. Maybe that was it. I don't remember. Again, it's been a couple years since I did it. Uh, Gang Fang, five bucks. Do you have suggestions where to find mentally healthier males like yourself? Who said I was mentally healthy? <laughs> I got a whole bunch of problems you don't even know about. Um, honestly, I don't know. I now, But remember, I'm also 49 years old. You know, I'm not a 20-something, 30-something. At one point in my life, I was probably would have been considered one of these very bad boys. I, I, I did the hookup culture. I learned the, I didn't take pickup classes, but I kind of was familiar with it. I was not a necessarily always a good person. I learned from all the crap that I did didn't get me anywhere. It didn't make me any happier. Chasing money, chasing items, chasing women, none of that made me happy. I only became happy when I started chasing my passions and what I wanted. So to find somebody that's, I'd say, mentally well off and stable, whether you're a guy or a girl, Find somebody that's not chasing social media, that's not chasing clout, that's not chasing, they're chasing their dreams. They're chasing their passions. They're not worried about relationships. They're doing everything but a relationship. And then if they're a good person and they're in a good mindset and, and they're in a, in a happy place, that's how you find them. I've got a dog here. I just had to take his collar off so it didn't jingle and rattle and sound like jingle bells. Um... You, you, you have to find somebody that's got their life together. You know who doesn't have their life together? People that are seriously or serially dating person to person to person or hooking up person to person to person. If you're somebody that's like, hey, I, I'm fine alone, but I'd like to find somebody, find somebody else that's like, hey, I'm fine alone, but I'd like to find somebody. It's hard to find because people are addicted to attention and insecurity and everything else. Uh, Rick Bourne, 10 bucks. Thank you very much. Um... I mean, you'll find, you'll probably find other men that maybe are, I don't know, similar to me. They won't be as attractive. Hopefully they'll be taller for you. They won't have this beautiful head, um, but they're, they're out there. Just like good women are out there. It's just, man, needle in a needle hack, uh, stack. You guys have heard me say that a hundred thousand times. So, you know, the big, the big, uh, the big takeaways here, guys, is, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap things up. So if you guys have any comments, make sure to get them in. I'll try to catch them. Um, the big takeaway is here is that the, the chasing validation, the, the, the victim mindset, the I want everything for free, the I deserve more, the all this next, 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 this is what takes you down socialism because people are too weak to stand up for themselves. People don't fight. People don't want to be better than everybody else. It's easy to be the, the victim mentality. It's easy to be the, oh, poor me. And that's, and that's the kind of stuff that's going to happen. And as it happens, 
understand it's not just the girls on TikTok, it's not or the guys on TikTok or whatever. It's not just the girls on the dating apps. Okay, it's also getting into school, the education system. It's getting into government. It's getting in they have this new thing now it's called um it's called quiet quitting where you don't quit your job but you do the least amount of work to keep your job. And they and they think this is somehow acceptable and cuz some dummy on TikTok talk did a, a video on it. And everybody's like, "Oh, I'll try that." No, you don't get ahead doing that. Uh Alyssa Roskova I hope I'm saying that right. Roskova, Alyssa Roskova. Uh, you're thinking of my auntie, not me. I like listening to you when I'm busy. Uh, you got good background voice. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. I haven't spoken to her in six, seven months. Sorry, I can't help there. Okay. I, I, I thought the last name was right. And I didn't know if you had changed the first name because of privacy and all that stuff. If you, if you speak to her, I hope she's well. I hope she's healthy. I hope her... Um, her stuff turned out okay. I don't want to share too much personal information. I hope everything turned out okay for her. I hope you're doing well. And and I hope you're I, I hope you're doing well, especially because I, I believe both of you are Ukrainian. I don't know if you were in Ukraine when all this kicked off, but I know I, I believe if I remember correctly, you're both Ukrainian. So I hope your families well, I hope you both are okay. Because again, I, I won't get into all the rest of it. I hope you both are okay and I hope you can reconnect at some point and things go well for you. I want just nothing but happiness for everybody. And thank you very much uh, for the eight ninety nine pound. I guess uh, you made it to uh, the UK. So now I know where you are, at least kind of, sort of. Uh, Johnny Depp, uh, Derp, two bucks. Uh, love to Tennessee homesteader from West Valley Hillbilly. <laughs> no homo. Thank you, man. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how things are going to kick off here with the housing supply being all wonky and materials going wonky and economies collapsing and everything else. I genuinely feel worried that I may not even be able to get my home built. I might, I got a little, I, I may have to, I can't even get my bus fixed because the mechanics out there, they can't find enough mechanics to staff. So right now I got a dead bus sitting in Wyoming that I'd love to get to my property. They've already dug the driveway if you saw that video. And I'm trying to get, you know, water run out there and everything else. If I could get my bus on my land, I got solar on it. I got a little wood stove for the winter. Uh, I got a water tank that holds 50 gallons. I'd be okay, I think, for a little while. I can't even get the bus here. And I don't want to go out and buy in, you know, some used trailer, although with the economy falling off a cliff, maybe I don't build my house and I just go buy a, a cheap used trailer, pull it out there and live off a of propane heat and get a water tank to tow around on the back of my vehicle I can go fill up somewhere. I'm telling you guys, things are going to get weird, but... We'll leave it there for, for here on YouTube. Thank you so, so much to everybody that joined the channel tonight, all new members. Um, thank you for those of you that have, have uh, uh, super chatted. I always appreciate that. If I missed any, I try to be very careful and read all of them. He says, Lasai, West Vir uh, Johnny Depp, Lasai, West Virginia. Uh, Yeehaw, y'all. Didn't I, isn't that what I said? West Virginia? Did I? West Virginia Hillbill. Yeah, okay. I, I read these as I go because I don't want to miss them. If I missed any super chats, I apologize. It, it doesn't mean that I I, I don't appreciate it, and uh, that your 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 voice is not important. I, I always find that it is. And again, guys, if you want to get away from the censorship, if you want to get into some place that's away from all this culture that I'm talking about, follow the creators you like on Rumble, on Odyssey, on Locals. Um, Rakita Law, one of the guys that covered the Johnny Depp. Uh, he just got kicked off of YouTube for his second time, second strike. He's gone from YouTube for another week. Thank God he's over on Locals, as is Viva Fry and a lot of other, you know, uh, Michael Malice. And, like, everybody's bailing off these, off, off of YouTube and these channels. Because we either have to trim what we say so much, the message has less impact. Maybe we don't get as many views or as, don't have as much of a voice or aren't as popular. Um, or, or we say what we want and then we're just gone. So get over on these off sites. Mine is free. Betterbachelor.locals.com. Free to become a member. There's 55,000 people over there. You can read the forums. You can read the posts. You can follow links. You can see the comments. But it's getting away from the mainstream algorithms so you can share any stories you want to. Same thing with Odyssey. Same thing with Rumble. 
They're, because I'll tell you right now, Twitter is going to end up being 80% bots if it isn't already. YouTube is digging its own grave by making things so difficult to do everything. Because local streaming, piece of cake. Rumble streaming, piece of cake. And they're, what, 15 years younger than YouTube is. So, all right, guys, I, I don't want to keep going on a, a rant, but thank you guys very much for all you've done, uh, for, for joining me today. It means so much to me. Stay safe, stay smart, guys. Make sure you're prepared. Emergency water, emergency food. Uh, I'd say a couple of months at least because when things go off, grocery stores may get empty. People may be mugging people and fighting and it it's coming. It's bad times when 60% of factories close in the UK, they're not working. They're not spending money. Pubs are closing. Restaurants closing. People aren't getting tips. Everything falls off a cliff. And it happens slowly at first and then real quick. That real quick is just about here. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next one.